Uh, so we'll get rolling. Um, for those of you who are just joining us, uh, we are playing through the Curse of Strahd adventure. The party has made some significant progress in the land of Barovia. For those of you who do not know, um, Barovia is a land separated from Faerun, the main um, sort of material plane um, that is the typical land of D&D. It is a demi-plane that the adventurers are currently trapped in. And this land is ruled by an ancient vampire named Strahd von Sarovich. The party has made um, quite a few gains in this land. They have recovered three important artifacts to help them defeat Strahd. They have found a powerful ally. They are now just searching through a few last places, um, uh, going through the rest of Barovia and kind of learning its history and empowering themselves before sort of aiming towards potentially what might be a first encounter or final showdown with Strahd von Sarovich himself. They are well aware that should they perish in this realm, their souls would be trapped forever in a limbo type of torment. Last session, the party camped on the banks of a wizard's tower and then made their way to Arginvastholt, a place they had heard of before, a place they knew that they know to have at one point been the home of a knightly order called the Order of the Silver Dragon. It's becoming increasingly apparent to the party that this is not no mere, um, well, perfunctory title, that in fact this knightly order was at one time commanded by perhaps an actual silver dragon at some time. But the home and the knights themselves seem to have fallen at one point and fallen quite far into undeath, into ruin, into disgrace. So now the party stands in a chapel, having heard a sort of rousing speech after repairing a window, showing a beacon shining above this um, chapel, hearing the voice of a silver dragon, it told them that its skull lied in the fortress of its enemy, displayed in a place of ill omen, to find his skull so he could restore hope to this land. And then all went quiet. And so the party sits in this ruined mansion. My friends, what do you do? I, um, I, feeling a little overwhelmed, I just sit down right where I am. Maris goes over to Claren, tries to put an arm on her shoulder to comfort her, sensing that she's not doing so, so great. So, uh, so what's the plan? What are we doing, guys? Yeah, Did we win? That didn't sound too bad, right? Place of my enemy. Strahd's I mean, castle. Yeah, it's not good. But we, we have, have an, an invitation. invitation. <laughs> that doesn't yeah. make it good, though. Oh, just means he's nothing here is good. Um, a place of ill omen. Uh, Cyvor, Yeah. you drew a map of the castle. Yes. Um, is there anything in your drawing that might strike you as a place of ill omen? I mean, aside from the whole thing. Hmm. All right. DM, pondering over the map itself, um... What do I see? Or the castle itself seems to be of pretty typical construction, mostly from what um, 
as, as you would understand. Um, the two main spires that extend up seem to be perhaps excessive, but um, nothing particularly sinister about them, besides the fact that they loom over this land in sort of ill moonlight. But otherwise, it's a pretty normal castle above. Below, though, you were able to look. There are um, the, the sublayers of the castle. So the, the larders, the cellars, are more extensive than you would expect from any particular um, medieval fortress. And even below those, there seem to be these extensive catacombs. I just say, are there catacombs or like a chapel or anything of the sort that would... There is a chapel on the main level, okay. um, but there are also extensive catacombs and mm. sort of dungeon levels beneath the castle that seem unnecessary, but I mean, nonetheless are in the construction. I mean, it is a giant... It would be a giant skull, right? We would recognize it if we saw it. Well, if I was looking for a skull, and unfortunately in my life, that is kind of a goal for me now. Um, Don't eat the <laughs> dragon skull, the, Cyborg. What the, I'm just saying, I got needs. Um, Not this one. Uh, but the I don't the, think it's a bad idea. I don't know. Nice. Suddenly everybody's got a bone to pick. Okay, fine. Um, so... Uh, I was just thinking the catacombs below would be, I mean, that's pretty ill omen -y, right? Yeah, I buy that. Um, I mean, hell, we could just go and have our dinner with Strahd and say, hey, you don't happen to have a giant skull lying around that we can see? I have a feeling that we should not bring attention to what we want. I, I mean, in the same way that, you know, we fucked with Strahd by getting rid of the thing that he wanted most. Well, what a better way to fuck with us than to get in the way of something that we want. If we keep our motives well, more hidden. I, what do we have to gain from this thing? Well, isn't this an ally? I thought that was what we were told would be, reside here. Exactly. Well, I could certainly see how a dragon would be a useful ally, but even if we find a skull, it's just a dragon skull. But we can... I think that there's some sort of greater power associated with it. Like the greater power that allows you to do your crazy... Well, that, but... The... The creature that we encountered in that last crypt said something about a beacon. And there's been language about a beacon of hope before. Maybe the skull itself needs to be returned to, I don't know, do something that will breathe a little more life back into this land. Make it less habitable for Strahd or do something to bolster those who would stand against him. I don't know. I, I think that that is putting the cart before the horse. I I think that if there is any chance that we can benefit from it, then we should take it. Didn't we learn that lesson in the Amber Temple? Oh, absolutely. Very well learned. And Acantha had a really good point from making friends with the, the Lich, you know? Never hurts to have friends. I say we search right, this Campbell? place. You, you as, as Merelda, you see kind of cocks her head when she hears that statement. You made friends with a, a what? Friends a, is a stretch. I swear I'm not a bad person. That's exactly what a bad person would say. He's not a bad person. You're not a bad person, mm -hmm. Simon. Not a bad. Are person. you a person? Hey. Ooh, so anyway, um, so are we gonna search this place, or how are people feeling? Uh, I would like to look you around. felt a better. More. Look incredible. Well, um, maybe there's something I can do to help as far as Jezwaldo feeling better. Would anybody like a berry? Sure. 
Yes. Very I'll take much. a berry. Oh, thank you so much. Everybody have a magic berry. What do the, what the berries do? As a reminder, they, they will restore a hit point, but as a reminder, if a character is downed, that single berry will restore them to consciousness. It's so. true. Maybe. Well, I will hold so, on to yeah. my berry. So will I. <laughs> I too will hold on to I'm my berry. I'm not going to eat my berry. <laughs> Everyone have a berry. <laughs> Hold your berries. So, so we all get a berry? Everybody yeah. gets a berry. And I have a few extra. That is my jam. Berry jam. <laughs> Appleflod casts good berry. Excellent. Kind of come out like something between like a pomegranate and a raspberry. But as it, um, you know, you take it and you're like, oh, this is great. It kind of leaves a spot on your palm. And these are kind of like, oh, let's wipe that away. The, the juice from the berry seems unnecessarily thick <laughs> and viscous. Oopsie. And great. blood red. Mm, yum. It's just a well, berry stigma. Limus, you said something about exploring the rest of this place. That sounds like a fine thing to do. We have past a curtain to look for as well. In the other That's room. true. I wonder also if you would all indulge me if we could step outside briefly out here of course just out the window um, and it's just a note um it was sort of late in the combat but something you would have noticed and just while though you would have noticed um a few of you were attacked by these sort of undead entities that were mm -hmm. in this chapel when they attacked just waldo they seemed to do significantly more damage and attack with a vigor mm -hmm. that was unmatched by those who took up combat with the rest of you. To be honest, it reminded me of, well, how I get a little angry sometimes. <laughs> um, well, I, I mean, certainly sympathize the with their thirst for vengeance. DM, would I have recognized the the remnant and what they are? Uh, you can uh, make a religion check. Yeah, I'm not sure if any of us did before. Don't mind if I do. Can we all do it? Oh, I think we did it before. I'm not sure. With I don't a, think we did. With a 20, dirty 20. Oh, Sivor rolling in with the um, the uh, Dodeca numbers here. Um think that's the term you would use but anyway um so based on their sort of the fanatical resolve you observed in them um their undead yet very martial forms and the fact that when you killed them there was this sense that the animating spirit sort of slipped out of the body rather than actually being destroyed. Um, those three clues lead you to think that um, these were in fact a powerful form of undead um, commonly referred to as revenants. You know that revenants are um, not a type of undead that are typically animated by casters that, you know, to um, do simple biddings that the animating force typically is an oath unfulfilled or an intense hatred or lust for revenge. Interesting, Sivor. So, based on how aggressively they attacked me when they thought I was Strahd, do you think they would attack the real Strahd with the same amount of vigor? 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 With yeah, vigor. yeah, yeah, with the verb. Ver 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 Sorry, ver I'm having a problem with my lips, you may have noticed. No, it's all right. You look incredible. <laughs> Need some Burt's Bees. No, yeah, so the remnants themselves seem to be driven by uh, almost like a, a, a paladin like sort of faith or, or oath or a, a dedication to an ideal. Uh, and in fact, when you, when you kill them, from what my research tells me, like they don't necessarily die, but then jump to another vessel so that they can continue this oath, which will either end with them destroying their target or continuing to destroy themselves. Um, hmm. 
I Which, wonder if we could convince them to follow us to our dinner with Strahd. Uh, again, it never hurts you to have friends. Or, or not friends, but uh, people who will aid us. <laughs> Side eye to <laughs> Esmeralda, making sure she's. Oh my gosh. Like, Do you think there's any more of these revenants in the castle? Well, if they, ju- if they jumped out of the bodies, they have to go somewhere. And Wouldn't uh, they, they be, like, coming after us now? If they jumped out of these bodies, they must know we're here. Well, I would be careful to maybe take the walk to the graveyard in the back. That's where plenty of bodies are. No? Mm, that may have been where I wanted to go. Well, I'm sorry. Claire. We'll stay here. Fine. Well, go Maris go. goes we, with Claire. We can't <laughs> ah. I walk to the door. I open it. I step outside onto okay. this little walkway area, and I will immediately use Divine Sense. Okay. Um, you extend the um, divine power out from you, and you do not sense any undead that are present and not in complete cover. Mm. So there might be something that might, might pop out of the ground at us, but other than that, we're fine. Do we really need to walk through the graveyard? Yeah. I mean, is that we're something good. we need to do? I don't know what's um, we as a collective, perhaps not, but I would like to. So if it pleases you to stay within the chapel, then do so while I take a little stroll. It Thank so you. pleases me. Wonderful. Wow. Just Waldo stays in the chapel while Claire goes in the graveyard. That's just. Well, Maris uh, is still going <laughs> with you. <laughs> yeah, she's got the half elf crew behind her. She's yeah, who's who's going? Who's back. who's staying? S- I'm going. Going. Should Should does, like, stay. Like, I go. Uh, head turn. Head. Turn. He's like it's like he's choosing between mom and dad, and so he's you know, <laughs> and he has, and he walks outside a little bit. <laughs> pick mom over dad. Seeing most leave, uh, Esmeralda will stay. Um, um, and he, she will say, I think I have learned how to do this. Um, Kazan says, shut the door. And <laughs> the uh, animated armor walks over and shuts the door to Amazing. the chapel. Oh, so mine. who stayed inside? <laughs> Esmeralda and the animated armor and anyone else? Akantha. I think Alpha Flag, uh, too. No, I thought there are two Athelflads on the board. <laughs> you gotta pick one. You gotta pick oh, one, girl. Oh no, there are Athelflies. I did not put. I did not do that. <laughs> and Akantha's having a seat. Akantha is lagging yeah. pretty hard here. Oh no. Oh. Yeah, you're lagging. You with us, Akantha? You. Oh my god. Okay. Well, well we can hear you. Now. Okay, we can hear you now. Yeah. Um. Okay, so you can hear me. Yeah, you can hear you just fine. Nope. Your, your video is frozen, but we can hear you. Akantha with Esmeralda. Okay, she will stay okay. inside then. All I heard was the that rest of you about the armor. Lovely. What's that? I heard, I she was like, "That's my armor." Yeah, <laughs> she didn't appreciate that. Twenty it's minutes nice in, you, it sounds like the rest of you go out into the graveyard. Yeah. Ooh. There's um, a seven foot tall wrought iron fence enclosing this area here. You can see there's no gate leading in, only the door you came from. What's this business over here? There's a door leading to a um, sort of 30 foot tall tower. You can see that there are um, drag, well, draconic looking gargoyles. Um, lining the top super cool um so i would like to sort of take a pass across the rows of the um the graves um reading whatever is inscribed upon them so and there is a large marble door set upon this as well um and there is a name carved into it that you can even from here, see quite clearly says Arjun Vost. Interesting. Maybe it's a mausoleum. Wonder if that's where we need to end up putting the skull. 
Anyway, as Giswalda said, cart before horse. I, like I said, start walking up and I'm, I'm reading whatever's on the graves as I go by. Okay. You um, look and they each do have names on them. Um, uh, mostly names of, it sounds like, knights. Uh, typically by the sir or lady prefix in front of them. And yeah, that's what you see. You also notice that about four of them, um, the earth seems to have been torn apart as if something has either dug up from the earth below or dug into the earth from above. Well, we fought four revenants, I'm guessing it's that. Fought... Were there four? I thought there were only three. Mm. We... How many were there, Peter? I think there were three. 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 So, uh, Akanta, can you turn into a dragon? I, think she's set I don't up. know, can I? Uh, why would I know? You can turn into all kinds of things. I mean, a dragon is just kind of like a giant snake. Oh, maybe I can. I'm going to try. This should be good. <laughs> That's rude. What? She's going to try really, really, really hard and just boop. Oh, there uh... it is. So, just like a dragon, amazing Akanta. You can turn into a large. Um, well, what what CR beast can you turn into? Uh, I'm pretty sure not a dragon. <laughs> I'm definitely <laughs> yeah. sure not a dragon. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I've got to find. I'd say for speed's sake, no, I can't turn into a dragon. I know you can't. I was just going to see what it is that you turned into um, if you tried really, really hard. If you were going to sort of let it go, um, a giant constrictor snake is a CR2. <laughs> that that sounds good because I'm not super wow. high level. I mean, but, um, I'd call that a dragon. And indeed, it is a huge creature you take up. 15 feet by 15 feet oh, as a an enormous well yes yeah. that, you need to better. thank you essentially <sighs> would take up the entire space of the room that you are in oh and my yes God. <laughs> it is <laughs> <So> just, well, <laughs> just enormous the side of the wall, just you like, could <laughs> if they let you you could easily swallow any of your companions that's hilarious can you move Akata just a bit just a little bit <laughs> She'll poof back. Did, did I do it? Was that a dragon? Yes, amazing. I wow. We could okay. just leave. I mean, you've got this. Oh well, no, uh, no, no. Are... I, I wouldn't want to take that away from you. <laughs> for me. <laughs> uh, those of you in the cemetery. Roll initiative. No, no, no. Ah, what are you no, doing? No, 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 no. <laughs> Whoa. Cyber has um, walked over to one of the open graves and sort of does like the puts his finger in the dirt. And... The remnant lay here. <laughs> um, delicious, by the way. It's, it's grave dirt. It's good. <laughs> Scoops up some more, puts it in. Starts Cyber? Uh, what? What? I don't, I'm not bothered by your predilections, however, Just, for a grave of a fallen knight, I would ask you to not. It's a pretty grave offense. I, I, understand, I understand that makes sense. We'll find for, you some el some more elsewhere. No, okay. no, of course. I've still got the bones from the the temple. I just, yeah. just thought I should check. And how often are you hanging out in a, a graveyard? Here more often than you would think. Yeah, that that that's real. There's Those a veritable you... buffet about seven or eight hours east of here. Don't worry. If we need, we'll get there. <laughs> okay. 
those of you who are outside in the graveyard here for a moment um looking about get this odd feeling it's um really unmistakable feels like you're being watched and the location of the um uh of the of that feeling becomes sort of clear as you look over your shoulder and up on the third floor you see it appears to be someone watching you there's a well very well dressed man with a thick mane of thistle down hair observing you from the window then you see him draw the curtain and he seems to disappear did he look alive um yes especially in the fact that he was moving he was peering through a thick pane of glass i meant yeah. more in the alive or undead distinction i'll make a perception check yeah i will i will, help I, I, I will aid you <laughs> i rolled a five i rolled a five the course 14, 20. 20. Oh, yeah. uh, in the moment that you saw him, none, uh, none of the, uh, <laughs> none of what you saw led you to believe that he was undead. Yeah. I like how we're all like, look at him. He might be undead. He doesn't look to be undead. And then Claire's like, a window. <laughs> <laughs> My powers of observation are legendarily horrid. <laughs> it's all becoming clear. You <laughs> um, it is a to window. everyone but Claire. Yeah. <laughs> Ironic I have other based skills. on the name, but you know. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Keep looking for these After it's been pointed out to me. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, I'm a little curious about that. Is anyone else a little curious about that? He seemed nice. DM, you're where, not there, Akanta. Where are the? <laughs> Wait, no. Where <laughs> am I? Uh, you're am I? you're inside with uh, with Esmeralda and just Waldo, just staying inside the chapel. Oh, never mind. Snaking, snaking your way around. Just <laughs> um, Waldo is trying unsuccessfully to wax his mustache, which is not doing very well on his undead face. Oh, I'm half expecting you to like pull it out, like. Oh. It's, it's it's coming. That's dead. <laughs> oh, that's dead. Uh, DM, where 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 was this window, or, or like that we saw him looking out from? Um, it was. Let's see. I gotta make sure. Yes, indeed. It seemed to be from. Two floors up, mm -hmm. this window. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and take flight and sort of fly up to the window. Okay. This will be interesting. Heading up that way, you find um, a sturdy leaded glass window with... Um, iron crossbars, sort of like the rest of the windows here. This place is part manse, part fortress. And by the iron crossbars, you mean like it's a, it's a literal barred window, like I could not physically enter it myself. Okay. Yeah, there's, it's yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. fortified. So and sort of like, like tap on the glass. Hello? Mm -hmm. And then I'll fly over to the, the other window and because because since I saw him in the window, I assume I can see through the glass. Yes, you can. Um, you saw okay. though that he um, had drew seemed like he was looking through a curtain and yeah. drew the curtain shut. No, and you will well, find the other window he uh, to be to the right of it on the other side of this, but it's obviously a chimney to be quite similar. Mm. And so I'll, I'll tap on the glass, hello, and see both both windows are drawn, or the curtains are drawn on both windows, and kind of look down to the group on the floor. And I can't see. He, he, and the windows guess, are barred. I guess we'll have to get upstairs the uh, the old-fashioned way with our feet. 
So what the right bard still if you would long. if you would you know danger join us on the ground. <laughs> oh oh yeah right <laughs> feet. <laughs> You're adorable. Um, yeah, go go ahead. I uh, just I need a second. All right. You're, You're staying in the graveyard. Yeah. Um. Uh, this. Maris. Hmm. A sec, if you don't mind. Yeah. What's up? Um. You know, the flag, every call? now and then, yeah, I, I, this conversation is aside from everyone else. Um, oh, okay. Away from Alimus's prying, prying ears. Yeah, Alimus, jeez. <laughs> Passive perception, seventy. <laughs> and I was like, you hear I sound. No you are not just... surprised that there is a conversation that you can't hear. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Go ahead, guys. You sometimes see things, experience things that you can't understand but are fortuitous or serendipitous in some way. Yes. I... Why? You had dreams about this place. Or about its people. Did I had not? dreams about this place place and these people yes I I'm struck by the similarity of it all it gives me the chills the similarity Here I am. <laughs> once again surrounded by the bodies of fallen knights. The first time around, I couldn't save any of them. The second time around, they're all dead, but I feel like I might be actually able to do something here that's helpful. Well, I'll stand by you, whatever it is you feel like you need to do. I know. And I appreciate that. Always. I don't think I would have gotten through any of this <laughs> without you being here. Nor are you. Oh. Uh... Mm. High five. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're a fucking ray of sunshine. Ugh. <laughs> uh, Alright. Time to shake off the heebie-jeebies of this place. <laughs> Let's go find whoever's watching us from the third floor. And Let's do it. on our business. All right. All right. You leave the graveyard and the sort of yeah. tower, towering mausoleum-like structure. Indeed. Head back in and rejoin the group. Jaswaldo is clean-shaven. Oh. Oh. Are you? Oh, because you ripped out your facial hair? I don't want to talk about it. What happened to your... F he doesn't just, want to talk about it? You look incredible. Shut oh, up. I'm sorry. I just... Certainly incredible. Okay. Do you want... Is he okay? Yeah, he, he, okay. remember the whole concept about not talking about things that make people angry or uncomfortable? We can talk about it later, Cyborg. Upstairs. Yeah, let's let's do the. Yeah, yeah. Come along. All right. Are you heading up the stairs right next to you? You know that it will come up up here, kind of in this throne-like area. Yeah, sure. Let's do yeah. that. Yeah. If you must ask, must ask. <laughs> Someone's gonna get stabbed in a long during a long rest. Oh I um wow. very gently lead push Sivor up the stairs before me, look, giving Jiswell a glance behind I'd me. Love to stick around, but I mustache. Wow. <laughs> <sighs> oh dear. Oh, stake around. Anyway, um. Oh no! Yep. Uh, there it is. That's where that's where we went. There it is. Um. Welcome everyone. Uh. <laughs> 
Strahd. <laughs> Serious. Serious. Oh, remember you died, Maris. Anyway, uh, oh my so god, we can I died. To the second floor here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I died. Guys. You won't die again. You have a guys. <laughs> guys. I died. So there is this chandelier hanging down from the ceiling, um, illuminating the chapel. Each of the candle holders looks like a tiny silver dragon. It's beautiful work. Otherwise, there's this tall uh, wooden throne, exquisitely carved, and two doors leading back towards the main area of the manse. Well, right or left? Left. All right. May Jeswaldo examine the throne for any secrets? Of course. Make an investigation check. Investigation. Why is my thing not showing? Oh, I know why. So I'm sorry. Um, come back to me. Just a second. I need to take care of something. No, oh, you're good. Okay. Um, Bye forever. Looks like you guys are checking out the um, left side. Are you just? Are you going through the door? Yep. Left. All right. Left. Open up the door, revealing. Oh my God! They go to the same place. How surprising! Wow. <laughs> a hallway that you can see extending towards a familiar area. This Never opens opened. up. This Never is, um, what? And a couple doors here. And these um, sort of uh, curtains here leading into what you can only assume is a small alcove on either side. Are they I... gently wafting curtains? Um, yes. The gentlestly the most gently that, wafting. That's going. That's going in the in the vault. The <laughs> gentlessly that that will be said over and over again. Thank you for that. Um, I, I I'd like to. Oh, so no. Just Walter should do his investigation first. Uh -huh. Um, very fine workmanship. Um, it looks like it would be comfortable, a sturdy hardwood, but um, nothing that seems to be able to be manipulated or changed in any way. Zwaldo sort of scratches it with a dagger as he goes by. Rude. Out of spite. Mahogany. <laughs> Ooh. Um, I I would like to like just gently push aside the curtain that I'm next to. Take a peek inside. Okay. Um. There is um a slight bit of broken glass. It seems one of these windows has been ever so uh, broken, not completely open, but um, cracked, and there's a cold wind sort of seeping through the room, caused the curtain to sort of flap back and forth just slightly, and a black cloth covers something atop a white marble pedestal. Pull it down. Okay. You see... Hey, Nicholson. Perfectly. <laughs> oh my God, he's uh, back. <laughs> <laughs> the perfectly carved bust. Oh. Of. Jeswaldo de la Rosa. <gasps> Are you kidding me? What? Say, say what? Say it again. <laughs> Excuse me. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I must have been heard. <laughs> I mean, it's perfectly um, carved, right? It is a perfect bust. Wait, uh, pre, pre Waldo, or post dead Waldo? <laughs> just Waldo in the peak of his manly handsomeness before the undead affectations. He looks quite stunning, as if the person who carved this was particularly in tuned to his finer features. I put the cloth back over it yeah. and step back out from the curtain. Nothing really in there. <laughs> Check across the way. Oh, okay. I imagine Maris, telling... from where she was, Maris probably saw this. And if anyone else would like to incite that, they can. <laughs> I would. Maris, 
Based on your deception, Claire. Uh, 16. All right. Um, whether or not you believe her is sort of irrelevant as um, sort of opposed to just the firmness in which she says it's nothing. Just kind of, oh yeah, nothing. Um, just the way she um, leads you guys in a different direction. Almost take, pretty much just takes your attention away. Um, you think, well, it's probably nothing of consequence, whatever that was. Uh, Maris, though, you actually saw a glimpse of something. Uh -huh. As yeah. I as I pass by, I look at her with this little like little like intense look, just like not good. <laughs> is basically what I'm communicating to her. And Maris cannot help but look over at just Waldo and just kind of like what? <laughs> I was up there now. Like you, um, so so okay. <clears throat> Well, and then she walks off after Claire. <laughs> what? Okay. Uh, that was a little unnerving. I have no idea what quite happened, but Claire seems mildly uncomfortable, which is not usual. So I'm going to take my dagger and. It's not unusual. Kind of poke at over. <laughs> not here. I'm obviously it's not unusual. <laughs> oh, no, no, Claire, no, no. It seems unusual to me. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, take a peek at what's under here. Be free for me. Yeah. Just Waddle will see the two of them walk by and then sort of look curiously at what um, Alpha Flat is doing. I am not a Gantha. Uh, I am. I can't see because the map is still black. Is there another little pedestal y thing over in this little alcove? As you open it, yeah. Uh, there is not. It's an empty room. Well, I'm still going to poke at the empty with my dagger because I don't trust anything here. Okay. Pokey poke. Poking the, at the empty. Is the empty single. seems to take no damage from your dagger. Bastard. Okay. Damn empty. So the area where this figure was, that would have been over here, correct? The third floor dude? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hey, uh, Giswaldo. Mm. Sneaky pants, come over here. Yes. What's ahead? If I try to sneak over there, I'm going to clank all over the place. Yes, you will. I will be happy to. Um, just uh, completely off, well, sort of on the subject, um, I recently learned, thanks to Rico, that if you hold shift while revealing things, it will snap to the grid, creating yep. perfect squares. You already knew. Yep, I've been doing I am that. late to the, the party. The only apparently. time I do not do that is, for instance, um, for instance, these walls, I was trying to give you just a little extra yep, yep, than yep, the yep. grid and so to more sh uh, clearly show the doors and whatnot. So, I am sneaking yeah. at a 16. Okay. To most of you, just Waldo seems, if you can, if he's still in your line of sight, you can mostly see him, but then he, uh, you certainly cannot hear him. Looking down here, you see a hallway leading to some windows, you see a door slightly ajar. And uh, this side of the room is simply a solid wall. I will walk past this door, trying to do sort of a spin thing from one side to the other and get a good look at it as I go by. Yeah, sure. Um, uh, make a perception check, since it is a quick mm. glance. That was a 13. Okay. You see um, what seem to be two uh, two beds with canopies. Um, there's a fireplace with sort of black um, black soot covering the flagstones beneath. Okay. And um, that's it. I will keep going, and I will take a step out into this hall. Okay. Uh, what are the rest of you doing at this moment? I'm waiting for him to showing everybody back. the bust of Giswaldo. Nope. I'm just waiting for him to get back. Um, what's inside right. here? I'll open this door. Oh, that's a door. Jesus, did not even notice that. Okay. Um, oops, I put sorry. you in darkness by accident. Uh, Giswaldo, you see two more doors here. Maris is gonna sneak down the hallway behind just Waldo 
Are you actually sneaking or just? Oh no, just trying just to. Just while like looks behind <laughs> and is like. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, there are doors here. I'll have Limus, what's... Listen at yeah. it first with my passive, maybe? Uh, uh, you will have to make the, the check the to room. do an active thing. Passive <clears throat> essentially yeah. just means that people aren't able to sneak right. up on you. 19 so. then. Still very good. Sounds... Um, you hear sort of a s s weird dripping sound. Not my of that. Maybe a toilet. That was my first thought. There was a lot of water on the floor below. Oh as yeah. Waldo says from. <laughs> I'll slide. My shoulder just Waldo says. Turns <laughs> says from the meta camera oh. that flies back over Maris here. Maris turns around and yells <laughs> what Jez Waldo said over her shoulder. <laughs> Jez Waldo says. I'll, I'll open it anyway just to confirm. Yep, and you see reveal, friend. There we go. Um, there's a small storage room here, meant for simple goods. You know, it's basically a broom closet. Uh, but there's rainwater seeping through cracks in the ceiling, it sort of flows into this pool that you can see. Um, it fills about half the room, the pool of water. There are bare stone shelves lining the walls. Um, okay. Just Waldo and Maris, are you doing anything? Yes, 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 yes. I'm following after Just Waldo. Okay. You wait here. I'm going mm -hmm. to look. This is probably stairs. I'm going to go and make sure that they're safe and all that. Mm -hmm. If something mm -hmm. terrible happens, you tell them, everybody, that something terrible happened. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, because I spoke, I assume I have to make another spell? Um, yes. And Maris, where are you moving to? So she came up to talk to me, so... Boop, doop, boop, boop. Yes. Next. Right. So I'm just right here. Oh, you're... So, I don't want to uh, die! Well, no, are you going all the way I with meant, him? I or? meant back <laughs> at the corner. The whole point of stealth is... <laughs> and before we row anything... Peter, uh -oh. if you want to roll for a, uh, a healing potion. Beautiful. Thanks to Pixie. Thank you very Yay. much. There's going to be a common Pixie. one. Um, we've got a lot of them going on thanks to our amazing viewers and patrons. Uh, who would like to... Uh, who, who doesn't have a healing potion right now? I've currently got two. Okay. I drank mine both last session. I think, uh, I, think I have one. We'll give it to... Just give it to Jeswaldo. Yeah, give it to Jeswaldo. Yeah. He, he took some hits last time, so. Yeah. 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 That's what you get for impersonating Strahd while fighting Strahd haters. <laughs> um, so, Eris, okay. So, I was just really being very stealthy, and now that I'm talking, it's completely ruined. You ruined it. I, I don't mean to be rude, but I need you to be away from me if I'm going to do this correctly. So she was so, coming up to you to hand you a healing potion. I what I found. <laughs> I thank you very much. Yes, I'm... God. Wow. All right. As well, you, do you want to move stealthy? I can show you what to do. Yeah, I want to learn. Like, let me learn. All right, okay. But before we roll, help. before we roll... <laughs> What's that? Before we roll... roll for D20 uh, inspiration. Everyone oh. roll for a D20 right. inspiration, thanks to Snake Spinner. If you've already oh, got, got inspiration, seven. you don't need to roll. I'm good. Oh. Just hold on. As you... Oh. <laughs> I got it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. Who won? Go. Oh. oh. Kanta. Wow. She has a 20. Katha got yep. it with a 20. Oh. Thank you very much, Snake. Mm -hmm. The snake goes to the snack. Snake. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Maris. So I will... I will say is you guys both move up to this location. Maris next to Jeswaldo. When you hit... When you hit... Um, Oh, come on. This spot here, you hear this loud crashing sound as it appears a stone wall has materialized in this location. You hear a... 
intruders coming through this door. And you also hear the sound of clanging metal uh, behind. You set, you hear and see this sort of pulse of energy that pulses out beneath your feet. You feel like you have stepped on something that has activated this um, particular trap. All right, at the first sound of anything, I like push mirrors against the wall and stand in front of her. Okay. Um, you do so just a, enough to He's um, a hero. To this point. And all of us do will we hear that? roll initiative. Yes, you hear this okay. crashing sound as a giant stone wall seems to fall in place. Yes, Waldo. <laughs> oh, I'm having a rough night. Ryan, 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 Ryan. <laughs> Uh, no, you're fine. <laughs> what I tell myself. Aww. Listen, we all have to tell ourselves these sorts yeah. of things. Like, I'm, I'm fine. You've got this. You've got this. Hmm? You're free. Right. <laughs> Mine's a seven. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry, 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 sorry. I see four of us on there right now. I know, I know, I know. Okay. Oh, is it? I think we got, are when we all on? You need to add a Akantha. Yeah, 15. Akantha, uh, and uh, I know you just told me, but please remind seven. me what you're- You're good, it's a seven. Okay. There we go, that's not real though. Maybe here. All right, good. Nope. Seven. Yeah, when my internet craps, I have to put it on my iPad. But it <laughs> you was sound even more southern. D and D beyond. Oh my god! Roll twenty on my iPad for some reason. Got it. It was funny yeah, because iPad. the way you came through on your internet, you said, oh, "When I roll <laughs> twenty on my iPad." <laughs> iPad. I was expecting a <laughs> yeehaw. Oh, oh that's in my crazy. internet crap. <laughs> no one, why no one has played like an Aussie or like a, a yokel like character yet? I don't know. Like a, I think a there, yokel druid would be fantastic. There, there's yeah. an NPC in the one of the other games I play in that actually sounds exactly. Oh, like that. that's so good. And it's amazing. <laughs> they must be an amazing person then. <laughs> my yes, mate tries to do that. Is. Obviously in a Pathfinder game, and obviously an Englishman doing it. It's just cringeworthy. I was just like, no, please stop. Alrighty. Just so like all this um, this thing materializes in front of you all, uh, in behind you, clearly cutting you off from the rest of the hallway. Um, and Elimus, however, is the first to react when you hear this sort of crashing, grinding stone sound in the direction that your allies have snuck off to. Not good. What has he done now? And I will move up. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I mean, if you're going to be trapped, 30. trapped with the cleric is pretty good. Yeah. Um, you look I around see? and you see a wall of solid stone at the end of the hallway. Um, it would be hard to say. You've heard this crashing sound, but it looks identical to the walls around you. Um, really, the only logical place they could have gone is through this door. Um, it doesn't really make sense what you have heard. Okay. Um, that's 30 foot, so 35, 40, 45, 50. Can I see inside the room? You can. It reveals an empty room. They're clearly not in there. This does not make any sense to you. That's a free action. I shout out, Maris Giswoldo, where are you? That'd be my game, my action. My game. They can respond. Oh, can we hear him? You can hear. There is a we shout, bang on the on the wall. You hear them crying from what, or you hear them shouting from very softly from what appears to be a solid stone wall. Athelflaed, you hear this as well. Um. Oh God. Um. Um, if I go up to the wall, can I investigate it at all? Because 
like I saw that it wasn't there before because I was you did the hall. um you may This looks like a super solid, well-built stone wall. It's cold, doesn't uh, hurt you, doesn't, just seems very normal. You can scratch off bits of the mortar, everything like that, yeah. Anything else? Any bonus action? Um, I guess I would just call down the hallway and be like, Akanta, I need your help right now. All right, Maris. Secret doors. Okay, so I turn to Jez Waldo and I say, What just happened? Well are we, we have stuck? set off a trap. Yeah, are we I'm, su- I'm sure that I'm sure that we are somewhat stuck. We are about to be attacked or something. Look for a secret door or something or a lever to uh, open that get door. Yeah. Sure, 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 sure. So with my dark vision, can I see anything, DM? Any sort of lever. No, I mean, um, to, at first glance, you just you simply see um, a door in front of you, a door down the hall behind you. Um, if you were to search for something hidden or um, something hidden from view, it would take your action to use a perception check or an investigation check. But um, certainly nothing obvious, nothing like a doorknob or a lever on the wall that is obvious to you. Okay, so um, I will use this opportunity. Jeswaldo, how are you feeling physically? Are you okay? Do you need... I mean, if you think we're going to get attacked, I want to make sure that we're ready to fight. I am wounded. Okay, so Maris is going to cast Cure Wounds on Jeswaldo. Okay. Any other movement? Otherwise, we're moving on to Cyborg. Uh, other than just yes. like banging on the That's wall, really oh, good. no. Cure wounds. All right. Thank you. You guys very hear this much. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> kind of sound coming from around the corner down the hallway. And Cyborg, you're up. Curse my right, metal so body. Actually, it looks like Jeswaldo should yeah. be first. So I apologize. I, I goofed and didn't click my token in time. So my original roll was actually a nine. So I'm, I'm lower in the order than I am right now. You are now in your right place. Just well, though. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh. You're good. So Cyborg. based on what I've seen of the uh, Wand of Secrets in the past, it just points to the nearest trap or secret door, regardless if it's been sprung. I would say that's correct. All right. All right. Um, but first, we're going to look to see if there are any secret doors. I will spend my action um, searching this wall for a um, secret door or a button. Okay. Ready. Go ahead and roll it. Claire, you're going to be up next. Just say so so investigation, right? Uh, yes. Okay, I've rolled an 18. Um, you feel pretty good about this. Um, you even get as far as over here where you seem like that would used to be a hallway before, but the wall seems to continue on pretty seamlessly. Um, you can't find, there's nothing out of place. Okay, so I've searched all of the area. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I would give you this whole hallway. You kind of ran your- um, So uh, I did the whole hallway and didn't find anything. That's correct. All right, Maris. A similar um, sort of pulse of magic happens when you step on this spot, but it seems to do nothing. So. All right, Maris, come stand next to me. Maris nuzzles her way over to Jeswaldo. You smell really nice. Thank you. And I pull out my <laughs> my rapier, and I'm just waiting for what comes next. Larry, you're up. Okay, so I walk over here, observe this clusterfuck, and, um, <sighs> Cyvor, if we can't get through here, we need an alternative, all right? We're going to find one. And I, uh, these steps over here, they go up. They do. Hmm. 
Ugh. Um. Check downstairs, and I'm gonna run over here with my turn. Alrighty. There is a door here as well. Esmeralda's gonna use her action to dash up to here, kind of trying to figure out what's going on. So you're heading that way. Um, is that your full? Is that a dash action as well? But yeah, dash action. Beautiful. Now it's Cyvor. It's a me. All right. So uh, Claire just said head down. Yes. Uh, so Cyvor is going to go ahead and take his action to move to. Uh, let's see here. I think uh, this puts me at my 45, so that's my normal. Uh, and then DM. Oh, sorry. There. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure where uh, you started. So. Uh, yeah. So, um, so uh, getting to there, DM. Uh, so all the windows in this place that we're seeing, they're barred. Yes. It's a. It says a like a fortress. Yes. Okay. Okay. And then this says open to below, but I assume that like, can I. Is this... That is this where you guys came in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But is so then Peter and so I can then. So is there a way for me to sort of sort of peer my head out and around to see if there's another? Because it's we're on the second level. We're supposed to be at the third. Yes, or. Oh, you mean look up? Yeah, like I'm trying you to. You see up. a vaulted ceiling. Uh, you okay. don't see any evidence of you being able to get another floor up from your. Okay. Okay. So current. it looks like for that room, we're on the highest level possible. Correct. Okay, okay. So then, so I was looking, looking, and he's like, okay, she said, got another way in, another way in. Okay, uh, and then he's gonna go ahead and just, you just see him like, he's gonna take a take a dive off the top there, and uh, I'm gonna uh, do my monk fall. Down okay. Lo lower level. Cool. Um, what is that? How, how far am I falling? It is 15 feet. Oh. I'm fine. All right, then. So uh, now does that 15 feet count as my movement as well? Um, it's a, it would get a little complicated with the, okay. the fly speed, but I'm going to say no for this purpose. You can okay, go cool. ahead so, and jump uh, so, down there. So then I'm going to take my the I'm going to take the dash action then to take the rest of my movement and get myself uh, through this room. And then I want to try that door if I can. Well, hang on. That's going to bust through it. Well, I think I can get to 15 and 35 gets me to there. So it'll literally get me to the door. Okay. So uh, so I'm at that door right now. Gotcha. Uh, and that's me. Cool. Akanta. Okay. So I am going to, I don't have control over my token with the iPad, of course. because Okay. Sucks. I can move you. Can you see it though? Yes, I can. All right. I'll I move it where you want to, me to. I'm going to move my 25 feet and try to go into that hallway. Okay. And then I'm going to say, eh, but I, I still don't feel so good, so I'm gonna drink. I'm gonna drink a healing potion. Okay, you can use your action to do so. Roll. What kind of healing potion? Just a normal right. healing potion. Go ahead and drink the two D four plus two. Seven, so that would be seven points of healing. I just added the plus two myself. Just a regular roll. Uh, you hear... Wait, what did you say? Seven points of healing. Nice. Good healing potion. Anything else from you? Nope. She will wait right there. Gotcha. Um, you guys hear this sound sort of echoing through the walls echoing through almost the entire manner that says brigands intruders as you see figures looking kind of like this that I've just posted in the chat I'll get another one so the rest of you watching can see it in just a moment here um where are you my friends they look like this that's the full thing I need the handouts. 
all right. Monster handouts. And here is your enemy at the moment. And Maris, mm. you see four of them just walk straight through the door and surround you, swinging wildly with spectral long swords. Well, Maris should be able to just wild well, though, won't you? She ended her turn and didn't uh. have movement. Um, oh no! Um, first one hits at 11 and 23. I believe 23 hits. He will deal eight points of yeah, force. Oh, no, hits. sorry. He will hit nine points of force damage. Do you guys see this, by the way? Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, we're seeing it. All right. Change that in a second. Uh, next one attacks twice with a seven and a natural one. Nope. Next one attacks twice with oh. 24 and 19. Oh, Leave yes. For a absolute garbage pair of four points of damage. So 15 Great. total. The last one will attack twice with a crit Ooh. and a natural one. Take 14 more points of force damage. Oh my God. And I will fix this and always whisper. Okay. Just Waldo, the opposite side, you see these spectral warriors rush through the wall. Think Return of the King coming out of the uh, gotcha. out of the ship as they <gasps> rush forward with purpose behind their movement. Make six attacks against you. I've got a 12 and a 17. Both miss. I've got a another 17 and a 12, and I've got 18 misses you too, right? Mm -hmm. 18's my highest roll. All right. Just bing, they bing, will bing, all. Ding, ding, ding. Yes, you, Maris, um, as you suffer beneath the long swords of these spectral warriors, you see just Waldo looking in your direction and concerned, but he is buckler in hand, deflecting blows and just snaking out of the way as their swords impact, casting dust off from the stone. Uh. I wish you had been next to me, Maris. Ugh. You are up. Something is clearly happening behind here. Yeah. Um, being a wizardy wizard, do I obviously I could, you know, I could see Athelflaed saying that this was it wasn't a wall before. Can I yeah. guess that it's a wall of stone? Um, that would be a potential. Um, a, a, a potential. Sorry, uh, explanation. Um, I'm going to give it a, a kind of a risk, risk doing it anyway. But um, he will look at the wall and da, 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 where are we? Uh, give it a go. Make anyway. sure if 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 as a you know as a player and your character would know about Wall of Stone, make sure you read Wall of Stone specifically the first sentence of it carefully before you make an action. Yeah, okay. Um, I look to Ethelflaed and I'll say, that's real stone. Unless you can break through it, find another way. And I will come down, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Can I open these doors? You can. <clears throat> and you reveal sort of similar to what you saw before, a um, bedroom and can i move in and search for a secret door um i believe you can use 30 feet of movement right yeah so you cannot move in and search but you can make a perception check a to look perception check from where i am now yeah come on ah oh, seven no, that just looks like a, another regular chamber. Athelflaed, you're up. Well, Imus just told you he thinks this is an actual stone wall. Great. And unless Great. you can break through it, look for something else. Uh, I had one idea, and I guess that's not going to work. Um, so then, are we we already looked in the other room, right, for a secret door there. Correct. Oh, in the other room we haven't. In there we haven't. 
Oh, that's right. Uh, just Waldo just didn't find anything on the other side. But Yeah, I mean, I guess that could be one. Well, then I will definitely there, or there. myself into there. And because that's such a short move, can I search for a hidden door through there? Um, you, yes, you can. You can use your action to do so. Investigation or perception. It's good. You're pretty certain that the wall seems solid around here. There aren't any doors or anything like that that you can't see in range. Okay. That will bring us to Maris. If you want to use the rest of your movement, you can Athel Flood. Turn undead? It's up 10 feet of movement. So. Yeah! Gooch myself back out. Back into the hall. And that'll be it. All right. What you okay. doing, Maris? Ha! <laughs> uh, turning undead? All right. Yeah. I forget, does the, um, does the, uh, Ravenkind, Seal of Ravenkind, does it do anything special for that? I don't know, Maris. Do you have that in your D&D Beyond character sheet? Uh, I don't know how to put that on my D&D Beyond character sheet. You can find it. I think it's on in D&D Beyond. There is, uh, if you use it for turn undead, they have a disadvantage on their saving throw. Ooh. So you should use it. <laughs> yep, you should definitely use it. Yeah, absolutely. It's 10 charges, so you can use three to impose disadvantage on their saving throws. Is that what you're going to do? That is what I will do. All right. So like I have seven saving throws to make. The wisdom variety of disadvantage. What is your save, DC? Uh, boopity boop, uh, 15. <clears throat> All right, going right to left. Um, bottom, then top. I have a 12, a 6, a 4, a 1. The ones by Jeswaldo, right to left, bottom to top. I have a 6, a 10, and a 5. Yes! <laughs> Yay! They Amazing all seem job. To <laughs> look towards you and. <laughs> seem to be backing off. Just Waldo starts to back away too. No, it burns. Ah, oh, just kidding. Ah, <laughs> oh, no, I okay. <laughs> All right. Esmeralda says, what are we doing? Don't we need to get through to them? And she is going to run forward and try to trying to start um, hacking at this wall with her magical axe. One seems to do no damage. The other seems to break through a piece of the wall. You guys yeah. hear that clink, 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 as the uh, piece of it, pieces of it begin to crumble. Jeswaldo, you're up. I need another token. Another token? Enough to find one, enough to find one that's you're, got you're it. you're not so beautiful. Uh, yeah. Um, Jeswaldo will... Uh, you're beautiful. Step away from these, uh, so they no longer have their reaction, correct? Uh, that's correct. All right, so he will step away from these and move to the wall here and um, back against it, letting them go by. And he will hold an action to attack anything that attacks either him or Maris. Okay, very good. Claire, you're up. Okay. Um, Alimus, solid stone, non-magical? Correct. Yes, no, maybe, lobster? Okay. Um, change of plan, bud. Um, I run to just behind, or just next to Akantha. Um, raise my hand, I'm gonna fire off two Eldritch Blasts at the same piece of wall that um, Esmeralda is hacking at. Esmeralda, incoming! Right, and... She kind of puts, uh, braces herself against the wall. 24. 
11 force damage. Okay. And another one. Ah, uh, 10. Um, you Not seem to have very nearly broken through. Okay. One Lovely. inch. Cyborg! How thick, how thick is it? That's one inch. Come back! He's <laughs> Um, it is more like it's closer to um, six inches thick of solid stone. Yes, 30 hit points per inch, isn't it? Yep, but uh, we've done exactly uh, 27 points of damage so far. So, so that's only... Esmeralda missed her first attack. She yeah. didn't hit the so AC. So we're not even through one inch of it yet. Um, 30 hit points per each panel. Inch. Each panel has that much. So. Per inch of fitness. Um, it's a 10 foot panel that you yeah. can knock down. Each panel has AC 15 and 30 hit points. Okay. So she will crumble a panel of it if they deal a bit more damage. Oh, they're three inches thick. They're very nearly through. Yeah, each, so. each one's three inches thick. Mm hmm. But the um, that each panel is three inches thick. Yeah. Has AC fifteen and thirty hit points. Yeah. So. All right. Anything else from Claire? Nada. Cyvor, you're up. Okay. So, uh, so having heard Claire go, Cyvor, come back. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead. And... I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, you're 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 about to see the fastest monk alive. All right. So. I'm gonna go ahead and take my flight speed then to okay. move the 50 feet um, out the door and back up. Okay. So that gets me to there, I think, ish, kind of hovering. And then if I take the 50 feet, uh, if I go up the 15 and then come back around, so I'm now on the second level, right? So that's 15. Plus the, what, that's 15. Oh, Lord. I'm having a math, guys. All right. So if I go up 15 and then move from here, 15, and then take the rest of my 50. Yeah, so that's 30. Extra 20 feet. Yeah. So uh, I then move to right about there in front of Claire and say, yeah, what you need? Stonewall. Can we, can <laughs> Prick. <we win? laughs> like, I, I, I point with my sword towards the bit that's almost shattered. <gasps> oh, cool. All right. Uh, and then... I don't, I, don't, I don't know if I have any other uh, fun tricks to... Oh, no, hang on a second. Let me see if I can't pull off a bonus action here. Um... Uh, no, I'm not close enough to do my unarmed strike or a, a flurry of blows. So, uh, yeah. Um, oh, oh, actually, you know what? Okay, so I can use a bonus action uh, on my turn to make a ranged attack with my Kensen weapon. So uh, I'm going to do a, a Kensi shot then. Uh, yeah. Okay. Sweet. I'm going to do that. So I take my dart and just where where I see the Eldritch Blast is hit, I <laughs> and chuck it. So uh, that... Yeah, yeah, that's dart right. to knock the wall down. Oh, please, please. So throw the dart. It hits with a 22. <laughs> Show me the damage. And the damage is 1d6 plus 4. That plus... heroic dart throw. Uh, yes, we know it well. Plus, knock, yeah. plus knock the, down I... this wall. Cyber, I'm so proud You're of you. Like, Cyber wall. Yeah, yeah got it. Ting. It crumbles you are into bricks you below, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you see these um, spectral warriors all sitting there, who all seem to be um, about to uh, run away. <laughs> awesome. And Akantha, it's your turn. Okay, so my plan. Okay, so I am going to get within 30 feet of the creepy blue guy on the left at the end of the hall. Okay. And then I want to cast Produce Flame and attack him with it. Okay. Just so you know, you would you would know that these are turned enemies, so they um, 
will have to run away. But if you attack one of them, that will break the turning. Um, so if you want to take one of them out and then try and take them down as a party, you can try and do that. But you think they will probably run away if you don't attack them. But it's up to you. What would Akanta do? Uh, if she thinks that they're not going to hurt her friends, she wouldn't attack. All right. Anything else you'd like to do with your turn in that case? So they is, seem to start to run away. Uh, is anybody near me hurt that could use a cure wounds? Does somebody um, you can't injured? quite see Jezwaldo. Uh, I don't. I don't know if uh, Athelflaed or Claire or pick me. Cyborg pick me. <laughs> Claire might be hurt. Claire, where are you? Right next to you. I'm towering okay. over you. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, the, I you're, just you're like can't a little thump at the wall. <laughs> <laughs> you're like a little pin prick on my iPad as I do this. Okay, so I'm gonna cast uh, cure wounds. Okay. And uh, for six points of healing. Okay. Thank you very much. And I have my little doodle lolly so we can all see. And it comes to their turn and you see them all. <gasps> a lot of them actually, some of them sim run out through the wall. This one and this one, you can see run through the wall this way and simply fall down to the ground and begin to run out. This one runs through the wall here. To a place you can't quite see. These all just start to begin running away from you. Is anyone going to try and chase any of these down? I think nope. I probably would have seen one walk through the wall at one point. Probably. Though you would have probably also heard Maris's declaration um, to Saloon that had turned the undead away. So yeah, I'm familiar enough with that to know that it's time to lay down arms. Wow, my eyes. You guys okay? Um, Maris extends her arm up to Jez Waldo and asks <laughs> for a, a hand up. <laughs> Pick her up. You. You took those blows very well, but um, yeah, you've got you've got a little blood on you. Yeah, I'm not feeling the most amazing. She I'll, kind of yeah leans I'll against the wall. Come up and uh, give you a bit of a hug, and also five hit points. Ah, thanks, Claire. Hit point hug. A hit point so, hug. My favorite kind with of the uh, with this this thing you have done, um, how long does it last? Uh, turning them away. Yeah, I mean, in the past they've run, and we've usually killed them. But we I... didn't kill any of these. Do they just go away for good, or do they come back? I I can't guess that they wouldn't come back at some point. I mean, they've we've now been removed from their immediate presence. And I think oh, yes, no, angle. this was this. We are definitely in a better situation than we were. Maris, I seem to recall some time ago that you did it, that it m was about a minute. So it's yes. entirely possible that they might they come back, but at least back. we will be together. So... Well, then uh, should we try and go upstairs and maybe find someone who can say, hey, go away or whatever. Sure. And let's uh, let's all just stay in the uh, immediate vicinity of one another now, shall we? Uh, Akanta? I'm, I'm coming. Yep. Uh, where is that armor thing? Bazan says, come here. And you hear below. <laughs> Slowly beginning to... Um, I'm guessing follow you guys. That's not going to help the stealth at all. I think that's out the window at this point. It's very loud. We just <laughs> broke a stone wall. I mean, what? Oh, by the way, uh, Dart? Yeah. Dart. Dart, right? <laughs> They're so good. Amazing. Amazing. That was pretty prime. 
um, after you. Left or right, friends? Uh, right. Close, closest to the Left. right. So. Sounds good. Cyborg, would you like to take a point? Yeah, yeah. I mean, <clears throat> sure. I'm right behind you. I will, I will be pointing. Okay. Um, she gets up to the door and is like, I'm going to perception check, see if I hear anything. Um, Make a perception check. DM, make sure that um, that Akanta is not always lacking way behind us. Oof. Yeah. It's a I've, I have compensated a bit when uh, combat started. She, she but, walked uh, in the wrong room. Sounds quiet. She just walked into the other room. Yeah. <laughs> Where did everybody go? There you go. Come on, come on. Mary's um, going to cast sounds cure quiet. wounds. On okay. Sounds quiet. Uh, I mean, like, like goes to like puts his hand on the door and like tries to like open it. Seems locked. And he walks right into it. Just. Oh. <laughs> oh. It got this. It's, <sighs> it's it's it might be locked. I pat you on the shoulder. <laughs> I will Sorry. open the lock. It's okay. I once got 24. eaten by a door. Yes, what? you will. It will click open, and you will see this. Well, this um, was not the way we went. Room. room. Ask me Wreckage again of ancient when bunk beds. So, yeah, I want. To... Let's try the other way. Well, shouldn't I mean? Uh, Cyborg walks in and kind of looks up in the room. Uh, is it like how tall is it? Like DM? Like is it? Or is um, it just like... it's sort of ends in sort of a conical tower. Um, there isn't an upper level. There are some rafters above. Just okay. a bunch of sort of wreckage. Um, Broken beds and, um, you know, armor, empty armor stands and foot chests and that kind of thing scattered about. So, get the impression of like a barracks or a. Uh, yeah. Okay. Is this, this door locked as well, DM? It is. Repeat your check. Mm. So, these things, as I'm working, these things, they, uh, they come through walls, they come through ceilings, maybe? The through floors? Just well Entirely possible. All right. Well, I'm busy with this, so somebody else watch for that. Someone it's yeah, pops open. Most spirits are undead have a, a sort of incorporeal movement it allows them to uh, just phase through most solid matter. It's actually kind of cool when you think about it. Because, right? Sorry. Seems. Well, sorry. This is another dead end. Well, there's stairs back this way. Well, let's go back that way then. Sounds good. I'm gonna go in here and investigate quickly. Okay. In here, go ahead and make the roll. Nineteen. <clears throat> um, you're looking about and you hear this kind of hissing sound coming from the fireplace amongst the black soot. go and check it out okay as you approach closer you see a small sort of hissing dragon it seemed to be made only of ash very <laughs> uh sort of curl out of the um black soot of the fireplace and Flap its wings, just ash kind of scattering. We will go home, dragon. A dragon, kill it! <laughs> Hold up. Sorry, sorry, I'm just. Uh, yes. Is it a dragon made of ash, or is it a dragon covered in ash? Dragon. If the rest of you kind of go in, it looks to you like it is actually a dragon made of ash. It's not freaky at all. That's so. And the room kind of fills with soot as it <laughs> flaps its wings. I, I think it's flap my wings back at it. <laughs> the soot goes the other way. That's beautiful. <laughs> I'm going to, to change the glamoured leather armor to some of the heraldry and armor of the revenants that we saw. That's pretty cool looking. I speak it kind of looks at you and ask if it can understand swing. me. 
much better look than the straw look. Certainly a little more inviting. It regards you, but doesn't seem to understand. Okay. Did we? Can Did we you... say hi? Yeah, can you talk to it? Do any of us actually speak Draconic? I do. Oh, well, how about you talk to it in Draconic? I have been. Oh, well, <laughs> shows what I know. It doesn't Look. understand. I'm in Druidic Gnomish and Sylvan, but I will still it... attempt to... Sp I will say hi in all the languages that I know. Hi! Again, it will regard you, but not really... Truly react. I hold my hand out to it to see if it's like, uh, you know, like an animal. If it would sniff it, if it's. It kind of goes back and forth, regards it a bit curiously, but it looks to be almost in a defensive position as it holds itself up in this fireplace. Maris, Maris also speaks draconic. Um, I don't know. Do we have? She looks over at the party. Do we have anything that we could offer the dragon as a gift? Silver scale. Yeah. The silver scale. Thanks, Akantha. Ferris takes it. The silver scale. I have the silver scale. Okay, just ten minutes, second. Yeah. Um, Claire, <laughs> how how would you feel about? offering it to him as I I don't I mean I'm just trying to he he looks defensive and he won't mm -hmm. talk to us he may not well, take it he won't engage but if he but sees it's made of ash it. I mean I step into the room but before it's life here it was not made of ash so maybe it has some sort of memories maybe did it did it say that to you did, are you speaking no, to it I'm I pull the scale out holding it between two fingers Does this mean anything to you? Do we understand what that was? <laughs> no, it's not speaking a language. <laughs> it's truly looks, it's animalistic. It? It's just, uh... Obviously there's lots of different types of dragons, DM. Obviously mm -hmm. with the size Make an it. arcana check. Uh, and what's up, Akanta? Um, if it is more animalistic. 24. Absolutely. Then would my speak with animals work? They're magical beasts. Um, potentially. Um, though you're not sure. Uh, Elimus, so looking at this, you would think that the, an actual... How you know that there are... The Suedo dragon? Um, it's small. Small. Um... It doesn't seem to be any type of actual dragon that you recognize, um, nor does it seem to be an undead dragon, really. Um, this, it seems to be almost more of like an animated force than um, an actual intelligent creature, by the way it's regarding you. You can also tell that to Akanta. Um, it is defensive, but it simply sort of looks to who's addressing it and sort of uh, regards it, tells it to back off a bit. But um, other than the, that, it seems... I would cast... flame effect that we saw downstairs also appeared in the form of a dragon, did it not? That one was much larger as well, much uh, more threatening, that kind of yeah. appeared in a <laughs> sudden form. This one kind of curled out of the ash and just started looking about. I'd cast speak with uh, speak with animals and see if that would help. Okay, uh, when you do, you don't get any sort of um, connection to this thing. Um, though between you using that spell slot and Elimus, um, Elimus's Arcana check trying to figure it out, um, as you mentioned that it's not an animal, not a beast, or anything like Elimus saying it's not a dragon, you guys get the sense that this is either some type, maybe some type of um, manifestation, like a, uh, perhaps not an undead, but it more closely resembles an elemental or something like that, a more wild force animated by the magic of this place. Maybe best to leave it alone. Hmm. Just 
is Waldo. And it does stare at the silver <laughs> scale, but that's about it. So. Okay. Well, I'll pocket it, and as I <laughs> said, um, as I said uh, what I said to Elimus, and I'll start heading back out the room. Does Waldo, are you sneaking away from the group? I am. Um... Shit, where did just Waldo go? <laughs> Before we do anything else. Thank you very much to Belchavez. What? Welcome to the channel. I've not seen your Who's name that before. hero? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you what for a the legend. 300 bits. If, welcome, welcome. If you haven't got a D6 inspiration, please roll. <laughs> uh, oh, right, oh God, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> Someone get oh, boo. Oh, boo. Oh, damn it. Looks like it goes to the DM. Thank you very Did much. You say DM. DM. Did you say DM it, Maris? Because yeah. that's... DM it! Uh, DM it! Um, DM it! DM it! God thank you, it. my friend. I will gladly use that to um, amplify the pain that I um, exert. Flick. No, I'm uh, kidding. I'm not a sadist. Strahd is. Um, just Waldo. But, but I play one on Friday night. <laughs> that's, a good, that's, that's a better joke. Thank you. Woo. I need to hire you for my staff. Um, Don't we all? Go ahead, go ahead and roll your stealth. And see if you can could certainly break away from the party, but... 21. Does that beat everyone's passive? Nobody's got observant, right? That's I, the only I, way, that's the only I way that I would... I have but I think it's only oh. 17. Well, Imus was occupied. Yeah. I'm really focused on this dragon. Does Waldo, you can get away and part the curtain. You notice that this curtain has been closed into this alcove as you go past. Yeah, was, which was the one? Which was the one that was that said that nobody? Well, so they none. went into this one. They opened the curtain, and it seemed empty. You come back; right. it seems to be a closed yeah. curtain here and yeah. an open uh, curtain here. I with want to the look through the bust. one that's closed. I want to look through the one with the bust. Okay, the bust is open and it's okay. right here, and with a black cloth over the top of it. Meanwhile, again, <laughs> thank, uh -huh. thanks to Bel again? thanks to Belchavez again. If you haven't yes. got a D6 inspiration, go ahead and roll that, friends. Roll a D20. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, only on my okay. 15. Oh! Oh! Damn it! <laughs> okay, I got a two. I'm Recording having all you. these twenties, not you. during I'm the so game. <laughs> happy for you. That's great. Um, so, congratulations to so Ryan a, who won it. Thank you very much for the big yeah. interview. And that's a that's, that's a awesome. D6. That's a D6. These D6s have to be used today's session. Tonight. Oh. In the session. Mm -hmm. Thank All right. You. Just Waldo, as you part this curtain, you or again, it's already parted, but you see then um, a marble pedestal with a so bust with a pull black. out my rapier and I lift the uh, curtain off the uh, the cloth off the blunt bust. You see a bust of a handsome middle-aged human with a neatly trimmed mustache and beard, very similar to the one you saw encased in the Amber Temple. Very similar to portraits you've seen before, too. This looks exactly like Lord Arginvost. Hmm. I don't see what the trouble was. Good looking fellow. Pull up the the cloth and I'm like Whatever. And I put it back on. Okay. Shake my head. What's in here? Other curtain? Mm, this door. Or, oh. Um, you reveal what seems to be a bath. Okay. And this other curtain? Opening it up, you reveal a um, empty alcove on the other side. And I will rejoin the group. Okay. So is this the stairs you were talking about, Claire? Uh, yeah. Where'd you run off to? I didn't run off anywhere. I was here the whole time. You just came back around the corner, and when I left, you were over here. <laughs> well, I mean, I took a step <laughs> right there to look, but we're fine. Whatever. Yeah, those are the stairs. <laughs> By the way, um, from our current position, DM, can we see across to what's over here? Uh, yes, you can. Um, 
it's easy to surmise. These are two collapsed rooms, which would have been sort of open to you before yeah. to the ballroom <gasps> below. So, you guys, he did it again. No. What? Yeah. yeah! <laughs> Maybe right. this time I'll roll a four instead of a one, a two, a three. No, he, keeps seeing, he keeps seeing your disappointment, Liz. This and... time it is a D20. <laughs> a D20 inspiration. I already got that. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. Thank you very much, Bertie. Hot dice. Hot oh, dice. Such 15. Oh, come God. on. Good. Oh. Is it? Is that it? Yes, I got it. Thank you very much. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> this is just a oh my god, I died. That she died. Oh my god, <laughs> I died. <laughs> Would you shut up about it? <laughs> no. <laughs> you oh, everyone's, everyone's shouting, and then you hear above in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I got, okay. better. <laughs> I got better. I got better. I got better. <laughs> Just have some, have a berry. It'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> um, Liz, I thought Liz is frozen. You're, you're muted, Sean. Sorry. Shall I sneak up these steps? Uh, yeah. Let's. Uh, I'll. I'll stay down at the bottom, but just, just go as far as you can see what's up there, and then uh, let us know if it's safe to come up. Maris. Mm-hmm. On. Cyborg Alimus. Okay. Okay. And a Maris token, which narrows I with her eyes at Jaswaldo. What's the creature doing, Pia? So, yeah, I'm. So while everyone's sort of like it's Jaswaldo's sneaking really out, just sitting there. So oh, I, I like take room. one of the my. The token moved. Did it? Oh, that's my. <laughs> that's my bad. That was an accident. If that's the case, so. Where is it? Um, or if what? you are moving up the stairs stealthily, please make a stealth check. I think that's what I'm hearing. All right, there is. Like this You're and I will help. Me. I will help Maris with her stealth check. Okay, so, so I'm ready. I'm ready to learn. I'm ready to learn. I'm ready. You can do it. What kind of armor are you wearing? Uh, leather. Oh well, this should be easy for you. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Okay. <laughs> so okay, okay. <clears throat> but I'm helping you, so with advantage. We're all again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, okay. You know, I just, I just need a second try. I just need to. I'm just, no, no, I'm really no, nervous. Please. I want to impress you. I just, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Oh, that's very good. Good job. Oh, wow. Thanks. I mime, I mime golf clapping as she starts to ascend <laughs> the stairs. <laughs> right. So we just sort of go up the steps, and I will be very carefully looking around. I walk past Barris. What are you doing? Shh. I'm being stealthy. Oh. God. Okay. She's trying to learn from Jezwaldo. She is Mabel Pines. <laughs> so she'll set off some more traps as well. Well, we'll be close. Now I know what you mean. Yeah. Now you, am I not? Am I right? I mean, yeah. <laughs> I, I once once I get the all clear from Jezwaldo, I'm just gonna clomp on up there. <laughs> good job. Good job. Good job. Sorry, I'm just giving you these rooms as a freebie sure. because you would have been able to see them from the outside. So. When we get to the top, I will make a motion like this and... We're on a different screen. Oh! <gasps> yeah. So, you guys... I, may I roll a perception? DM? See that? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Active stealth. So I've rolled a 12. There it is. Ooh, yeah. <clears throat> Eleven. Okay. <laughs> I will Things... carefully part the curtain with my rapier. Okay. Even though I already revealed it, that is what you see beyond. All right. That's eerie music. I snap and make the signal for Claire to follow. I follow. All right. Eris, <laughs> why do you wait? Clomp, clomp, right here. clomp. <laughs> You, you get Claire to be quiet. You show her what I showed you, and I'm going to sneak forward. I said we do it like this. If I may, make another stealth check, DM. Uh-huh. All right. The Ditch oh, Maris stealth check. Yes. Oh, yeah, not so good, though. Not so good. Not so good. <laughs> the um, clanging of my boot on stone distracts you. <laughs> How very dare you. As you get around the corner here, you see this continues here. This appears to be a ruined room. Beyond it, Give you that for free as a um, hallway leading to another door. Um, 
Bits of the ceiling seem to have collapsed. The structure seems to be a bit more unstable here. There's a How curtain dangerous here. does it look? Um, it looks weather-worn but sturdy. Okay. And here, there seems to be a um, ornate door with a dozen or so dragon skulls set into its design. Well, I will go check that door. You think dragon skulls taste like chicken? Cyborg. Sorry. Is this door locked? Um, it. When you approach, you see something that looks like this. And imagine them all being dragon skulls. You see uh. these names placed in front of them. All of their eyes open with silver glowing light flickering in them. One in the center, even more, uh, they flash bright. And you hear it speak. Intruders in my home. Speak the words which bind my sworn knights together, and their righteous wrath shall dim to calm rest. You have three chances to quench their ire. Name your first word now. And we will go to a break. God. Ah! Dun, dun, dun. Amazing. All right, All right guys. Serious faces. Yeah. Well, yeah, you know. You come in front of this door and you hear the voice um, similar to the voice of Arjun Vas, though slightly different, saying, Intruders in my home, speak the words which bind my sworn knights together, and their righteous wrath shall dim to calm the rest. You Is have that... three chances to quench their ire. Name your first word now. Um, is that something that, um, I having just clomped up the stairs can hear? Yes, you all hear this. Okay. It's this loudly, um, sort of, uh, said unto Jeswaldo as he comes around the corner. Um, I can, if you would like to all just come up. Um, yeah, sure. Nothing else happens. No other doors open. So you can come forward, um, and be in front of the same door. Uh, can I um, have a look? Actually, no, because I'm really bad at this sort of thing. Oh, oh, uh, um, no, so, oh sorry. Oh, Jade, can you? Is there a way to show this on the um, stream too? I know it's oh, sort yes, of uh, yes, 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 um, yes. just so the audience can see what you, what we're kind of looking at here, and maybe zoom it out so they can see the whole uh, the, the entirety of what's going on. on. I need to move that over there. Sorry, like I don't mean to be to high screen. maintenance here, but I can I could also um, change the map if that helps to move it to the center. If you can move it over to the right a bit, that'd be great. Yeah, you got it. Anything far right and far left is a nightmare because obviously yep. the overlay. Yeah, you got it. Uh, let me move it here for a second. So the only um, word that's showing up here is Raf. Uh, Elimus. Um. We have a book about the Order of the Silver Dragon. I'm sort of curious as to whether there is a clue as to what needs to happen here. Um, in seems, there. Seems it says, speak the words which bind my knights together. So amongst these words, there must be like uh, like the, the signature words of their, of their crest or their oath would seem to be... Definitely more than one word. Yeah, he, mm. he says, "Speak the the words that which bind my sworn knights together." Um, so if we just have to figure out which words, what's what's in the does the book say anything as to like what their oaths might be or that was that was my question for Elimus, him being the sort of most well read and oh. perhaps perhaps an avid skimmer also. Yes. <laughs> do I, well, do I recall anything from the books then? We also have it. Yeah. If you want to just whip it out. I will whip it, whip it out. <laughs> whip it out in front of everyone. Okay. Wink. Sorry. All right. 
Go ahead and um, make an investigation check. Does anyone want to help me? No. I, I'll I, help you. I don't have, have you got investigation. I can't. But, uh, yeah. Oh, you do? It's awesome. Like, well, it, it's not. It's Are you not proficient? Like, proficient? Proficient. <laughs> okay. I'm, nah. Okay, so I'm actually <laughs> proficient. Oh. Yeah. So, so, so I will help oh, you. Oh, okay. then that makes sense. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> It's, I investigate things all the time. Like <laughs> my inner thoughts and feelings and my diary, my <laughs> twenty two um, board. <laughs> twenty two. Uh you uh find some references to some of their um I guess what would be called sub orders or um chapters mm -hmm. um being somewhat thematic it's all very poetic um something you would expect from a silver dragon a bit frou-frou the way that these um knights and their heraldry was themed on um and there would be similarities between them for instance some of them would be um named after birds yeah I'm so one would have a swan like one dragon would marks. have a um one would they would be of the same chapter but one would have a swan as one yeah. would have a hawk one yeah. would have a falcon, like you know, that kind of thing. Not a rose, not a <clears throat> sort of kind of yeah. And do I see anything in there that, that names them? Um, no. Though, as a um, sort of just a free tidbit of knowledge, this door seems to have once been. Um, seems to have sort of succumbed to a similar corruption what you imagine that these probably once were was a beautiful ornate door it's kind of been twisted and corrupted and now you have dragon skulls with glowing um sort of malicious silver eyes looking out especially the the um middle one which spoke to you Well, a couple of themes going on here. We've got several words of wings. We've got several emotions. We have several um, words having to do with royalty. Mm -hmm. And we have a few things that have to do with wind, with, with, um, with water. Um, river, sewing. spring. Sewing. There's like tapestry and, mm -hmm. and sewing, that other stuff. Yarn. Needle, yarn, tapestry. I don't know if that's lead or lead. Hard to know. Well, so, so, Limus, the book mentions winged creatures? Are we got, is that what it says, DM? Where is what that? is... What was the book called? No, so you were just able to find that was the the most was relevant there, thing you could find. Um, it doesn't. What's that? Was there a handout? No, uh, there's not. So you're saying it didn't provide any clues? Not specifically. No, not okay. to. Uh, well, it did provide a clue, but it was a subtle one. Oh. Okay. Purple prose. Purple prose from Silver Dragons flowery but it says speak the words which bind my sworn knights together wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute speak the words which bind my sworn knights together and their righteous wrath shall dim to calm rest so you have three chances to quench their ire with the water thing would seem to be right so but but each each line is a word so intruders in my home would be wrath, uh, speak the words which bind my uh, words, uh, nights together, perhaps maybe uh, uh, needle or, or okay, I'm with you. them together. And then the righteous, uh, with the righteous wrath shall calm to a dim rest. Uh, that's, hmm. I would think yarn instead of needle if we're going that way. Okay. Okay. You could, you could tie Again, we got song. three chances at this, right? So don't miss it. Uh, 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 well, you're, you, it didn't. It didn't make it all the way through the. 
Right, right. Intruders oh. in my home. Speak the words to my Okay, so if it's fury, and then so well, just let, so fury needle bind the words in their righteous wrath, which bind my knights together. Chances to quench their fury. And it says, name your first word now. Oh, so it's first word, so it is. So we're looking for a single word. Yeah. I, I guess we it's... must be. Name your first word now. It's pretty pretty clear. Yeah. Oh jeez. Is there an order in which I see needle is a thing, rose is a flower, king? So needle, so pointy thing, flower, royalty. Wait, 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 wait. So maybe it's maybe we're thinking about it in terms of like, well, these are all grouped together. These are all grouped together. What's the one thing that isn't? Right? Um, the it um, the center skull will indeed say. Step forward, whoever dares speak the words. So. So it is words we're looking for. Mm -hmm. All right. So, yeah. Speak the words that bind my sworn knights together, and their righteous wrath shall dim to calm rest. Peter also said that the door itself had been corrupted in some way. So. Or bind is going to be in the there. sense of like the appearance. Of this it. is not the way the door was constructed when the Order of the Silver Dragon was penned. If that makes sense. Got it. See, lead can also dim certain senses. I know I'm looking at probably a bit too five headed there, but mm. so. <sighs> <laughs> this is hard. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was thinking maybe the first letters of each word could be used to somehow form, but they're all consonants. So that won't work. There's always right. the prospect of experimentation, too. No. No, no. That will, we should burn this place to the ground. Let's just do it. Just uh, leave let's it do it. Can I, I, re, I, go, I flick through the book again and just double check? So can you read what you said to me last time? Sure. Um, basically, the clue I gave you is that the knights were divided into chapters that had thematic um, sort of <laughs> thematic themes, um, wow. uh, thematic names and uh, that corresponded to their heraldry. Um, OK, I, so let's just I, so Cyborg okay. steps forward okay, and says. Um, Fury. And you see this eye closes. Wrath. These uh, this eye closes. Cruelty. These eyes close, and it says three chances. And the eyes all flare up. And you guys see as the remaining skulls. Their energy grows and each remaining skull shoots a ray of frost at Cyvor. Crap. So it's going to be one, oh. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh one, my two, God. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Oh my God. Shit. Do I? You have a berry? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I might need that D six, you know. All right, so. it's, a, it's, a, like a it's a roll to hit. There's no, there's no save. It's true. <clears throat> so did he take sixteen points because there's sixteen letters in the words he said? Is it there no, are sixteen skulls remaining that all attacked him. Yeah, it ah, wasn't. I see. Okay. Uh, there do right. happen to be sixteen letters in the words that he said. That's that's, that's really I weird. Just Waldo. 
That's uh, <laughs> if I had if I could cue X Files music right there. That's what I would do. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> that. that's not a uh, um, what is your armor class, Cyborg? I've got a lot of range here. I've got some nines, some sevens, eights, but I've also yeah, got yeah, 19. yeah. Uh, that's a damn good question. Okay, so uh, armor class is seven. 18, but that's actually 18 with you're gonna um, make it 18 okay well hang on let me uh let me double check so i'm not lying to you um because monks are fun <clears throat> um uh features and traits uh so i've got the dual weeder which adds my plus one to ac while i'm wielding dual welder um i can kind of feed on tooth um so uh success with i have separate weapons in each hand um, but would you have granted me that I could try to draw my weapons in that time, or am I just getting shot before I could draw my weapons? Um, I mean, we typically enter combat assuming you have your weapons drawn. It's fine. Okay, okay, so then 18 is my Okay, AC. so I've got one, two, three, four, five hits on you. Okay. And you take... 18 points of cold damage. Okay, and there's no, like, deck saving throw for those? Nope, these were attacks. Just boom, hit. And then okay. the um, ones that had closed their eyes um, reopen their eyes again. And you hear the middle one repeat the same riddle. All right. Um, As he was doing that, I wanted to walk around a little bit and try to see if I can find some clue in the area that might guide our thinking okay i'm also i'm trying to think back about like other stuff that we may have seen in the um manse so far that uh may sure us. um looking around here go ahead and make an investigation check uh, okay or okay. perception That's so fine. Yeah. well they both suck so, so we... let's try the one that sucks less huh? 17. Ah. Remember, you do have Rah. a D6. Um, That's not bad. Yeah, um, I, I'll, okay, I'll throw, I'll throw a D6 in there since I'm sitting on that. I rolled a 6. <laughs> nice. A three. nice. Yes. So looking around in the, there's this sort of tattered and collapsed <laughs> room behind the doors. You see what appear to be a couple fallen tapestries, most of them molded away, but you see, for instance, um, on top, there's one that has, in the center, a grand um, sort of filigreed wing. And then around it, you see a dove. You see a um, some type of enormous seabird. You see um, a bat in a circle around it, all in the form of heraldry. But... In the center, there is this large shield with a wing on it. So, so we know there's only th three things that we have to g g guess. Holy God, that was cold. Let me. Do I it next hold time. up the tapestry from where I am across the room and yeah. say, "Uh, maybe." I agree. I'll go up then. So, what are we saying first? Um, um I saw a dove and a bat. And so Definitely. A lark would be another winged creature. Um you said the thing in the center was a shield? The wing on it. With a wing on the shield? Yeah, so it seems that this tapestry is centered around a large artistic wing right. and then you have different like birds around it but you also have a bat yeah and um, you have different things that different sort of things that fly around the um large wing so and you can only imagine that this is one of the um um uh uh, uh, uh what did i call it? chapters of the order of the dragon um, so um, um wind i try next then i will say <clears throat> dove okay as you see dove you see the one um um 
close its eyes. Lock. <clears throat> you see the eye, the um, the it grow, the um sort of icy silver light begin to grow brighter in all of these as you call out, um, Lark. And that's different from the reaction that we've had from the other No, ones. it's similar. They seem oh. to be growing in intensity. Yeah. As okay. it said, calm the ire. And bat. Of bat. And I As you say that, Elimus, a, a similar thing happens. Um, yeah, it's not as simple as just calling out yeah. the words that are similar to each other. Because mm -mm. that's what Cyborg did. Fury, Wrath, Cruelty. Um, I've got some not good okay. attack rolls for my... Elimus, I have my two highest are 16, 17, and 18 against you. My three highest. Do you have... Does that beat your armor class? I was uh, going to cast shield as well. So Okay. What does that bring your armor class up to? Uh, it gives me plus four, doesn't it? Yeah. 17. Okay. Um, three works. Oh my then god. Two will hit you. You will take... Um... Seven points of cold damage. I'll it's take, speaking of it's three points of cold damage. Yes. So Ryan, Ryan, you res do, you, do you got it? I'm oh yeah, you're resistant. I'm yeah. resistant. Nice. It's plus yeah. five. Sorry, shield is plus I five. I think I got it. All right. Oh. Can't wait to hear this. <laughs> Go, Teresa. Yeah, sorry, shield is plus um, five, Peter. If one of them yeah, didn't hit me. Yep, yep, that's right. That's that's very I I yeah. So I would have had eight, I would have had eighteen. Oh, okay. Um so in that one, case I hit you with one attack, so four. uh it's a Five points of damage reduced to, to two. two. Okay. All right, Athelflaed, do you step forward? Yes. What? Excited hey. and nervous. Can can okay. you can you well, explain you what you're planning to do wanna... before you step forward? Yes, I'll step away from it really quick. <laughs> <It's> like, uh, <laughs> uh. In and out of the batter box. Um, well, the thing that ties everything in the tapestry together is wind. Right. So that ties mm. the entire order together. No. So right? what binds the knights together, what binds a knight is his oath to the king, the queen, and the prince. It's that royalty. And that's what that like that's what that's what I was thinking. Well, I was Well, but, that's not necessarily true. Knights can no. be bound to a, a concept or to a god or to okay. vengeance or and, to protection. And just to be just to be aware, the ones, the words that you called out, their eyes closed, and when you named the third word, everyone that's eyes were open attacked you. Yeah. So, yeah. It's it's definitely wind because I think that ties all of them. I called out all dove of the first. Cool. The tapestry together. I called out dove first, and it closed both eyes. All right. In that no, sense, they, yeah. The, when you called out Dove, Dove closed both eyes. It just closed its eyes. Um. So in that sense, we would have uh, royalty being the king, the queen, and the prince. We would have point with needle, with rose, with pike. Mm -hmm. um, we would have anger, fury, wrath, cruelty, malice. And I mean, I think I might be in the right zone right here. The problem is, is that if you could find the, like, I see what um, Cyber is saying, that if you have the one word on here that seems to encompass all the other ones, I can't figure out, I think lead might be king, prince, queen. Um, needle could be pike. And Rose. Um, and let's see, is there one word or so? Let's see, we, is there a word that has something to do with one of these one words that just could be used to encompass all the other ones? I guess is what I'm saying. Are there any more tapestries in this other room? Um, there are. With your previous explanation, I will say that. Um, it's a similar thing. They are, the chapters of the order are thematic. Right. And I know I keep beating you over the head with that word, but um, these are the knights, mm -hmm. the dragon skulls on the door, and their orders were 
thematic. Yeah. We have lead, wind. Rose? I reckon it's, I don't know, but bat, dove, and wind. I don't know. Well, no, because like, because bat, dove, and lark are all part of the wind chapter. Yeah. yeah. And then king, queen, prince are all part of the lead Please. chapter, or lead. And could it's... rose, pike, and needle be part of the wound chapter? Or tapestry? I don't know where tapestry Those are fits all in. Things that poke you. <laughs> uh, well, so tapestry, yarn, and needle could all be. But under what though? Wound. Wound instead of wound, maybe. Oh. Curse you, English. <sighs> yes. Damn your eyes. Which were which were the ones that Cyvor said again? I said fury, fury wrath, and cruelty. Okay. Which. All of the, I mean, you could say wrath, cruelty, and malice are all part of, or actually, was it fury, wrath, and malice were all part of cruelty? But or? it was that, it was in that, that weird shape yeah. at the top. So when we, when we were saying it, was Dove the only one to close both eyes? No. They all they, closed they, both eyes. When you said yeah. their specific word, the one, cl the one that had those words closed yeah. its eyes. Oh, okay. Yeah, the only thing that we've noticed that happened the same time is that when you said the second word, they seem to grow brighter. Which would seem that we were incorrect. In, an in anticipation yeah. of whooping your way. Yeah. So. <laughs> did that happen the first terms. time as it well? Did. Okay. It did. So it's not unique. So maybe if we just choose three words that... Oh. Say just do one word of maybe. category of the... Wind, of the flying one word lead. a category of the wind lead the... and but remember this so it's the the words that bind the knights together so like lead the kings the i mean the... i'll i'll give it a go with yeah right with the wind lead and wound wound or is it wind wound <laughs> wound 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 Th th that'll count as one guess right? wound it's wound. about tapestry though because you can wind a tapestry tapestry would Oh yeah, so like a needle, needle, a yarn, yarn. and wound and the tapestry can all be wound up like a rug, like you roll it up. Yeah, well, that's a bit of a stretch. I don't know. I feel like tapestry should be one of the words. It sounds very much like a oathful word, but I could be wrong. You're an oathful word. Oh. Um. Yeah. <laughs> a little hint. Well, actually, maybe we need one more try before we get a spring. <laughs> spring. Could spring have the roses? <sighs> roses come in spring out of summer, aren't they? So, well, a you guys are this is a, a thing that happens sometimes versus <clears throat> any sort of puzzle. Which, um, you were just talking about this the other day about like how some players will be like, Oh, yeah, it's this, boom, mm -hmm. five seconds, and then the other players are like, I'm Crap it, bloody. Oh, I will God. say, um, and by as you guys are speaking to each other, thinking about this, you realize that you you have someone has the idea that maybe try a word that's not on the door and see I what happens. A, yeah, I had. Yeah, that idea. I, I think you had that idea, but it wasn't necessarily um, really. I, I don't think the group necessarily heard that because no one mm -hmm. tried it, and we went back to calling out words on the door. So, well, all right, I'll step forward. Jeswaldo. All right, Jeswaldo. Yeah. I had to say mine before I could. Dragon. Say. Interesting. Um, dragon. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Let's see. Um... And because you are here, there. <laughs> so what about silver? What do you want? Silver needles? Sword. Silver lead? This is like uh. fucking code names. Have any of you played that? Yes. <laughs> yep. So the next word's got to encumber all of them. 
So we've got sword wrong, I would have said. Nature, life, no, beyond. Let's see, what can I get with the most? Um, ice cream. Like nature for everything except yarn and queen. I could be a queen of nature. Yeah. A life or death. I did say life. But I was going to say. Why would yarn? Um, our last word. <laughs> whoa! Whoa! Aggressive. Okay, hope. But you say hope. Mm -hmm. Interesting. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't know why. <sighs> like when DM says interesting. I never. Maybe dove that. too? I mean, nervous. Uh, word four. <laughs> dove, certainly. Spring, Spring, definitely. Um. I think that's it. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, and five skulls attack you. Um, we've mm -hmm. got uh, my highest don't have many, but I have a 21 on the attack. Is it something I can defend against? Is this an attack? Um, defensive duelist. Okay. It's a magic spell, though, isn't Did it? you add to your AC then? Yes. Right, you take no damage. You, um, does it have to be a weapon attack or can it be a spell attack? I'm, I think it's an attack. Let me double check. But yeah, otherwise, it sounds good to me. And then all of the skulls open their eyes again. Melee attack. So I will take the one attack. Okay. <clears throat> it's going to be a uh, six points of cold damage. I will uncanny dodge. You may. 42. Got it. Cool. All right. All right. So that seemed to be effective. What do you think? Dragon. I liked. Uh, dragon got a lot. Um, let's see. It did, but we want, we might have other options that better cover our bases. Indeed. That like get you a different combination. Knight, so knighthoods are, are formed on a code of honor as well so maybe something in lines with that i don't know obviously the dragon's a big part of it yeah there's a lot of things on this that occur in the natural world so i mean you, you cover a good chunk of these with like nature nature mm -hmm. um basic I, oh yeah Sorry. Now, and we know that dragon covers a big chunk of it too. So that is the goal then to have all of the skulls gone. Be close closed? their eyes. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. This is this is code names. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we could um, say we could say emotion that would cover. Yeah. It would, malice, that would be four. fury, wrath. I was thinking um, like knighthoods. What are knighthoods formed on? Evil. Ooh, evil would get a bunch. Morals. Evil natural weapon. So it's three separate words that form a phrase, or just three separate words. I don't think it's. I don't think it forms a phrase. I think it's mm, three, three separate words. Words. Evil we get fury, wrath, cruelty, lead, malice, perhaps lead. Um, maybe Why would even it get king lead. Uh, well, maybe not lead then. Fury, wrath, cruelty, and malice. Um, 
if lead is lead, then na- then um, nature would take it with lead, rose, river, bat, um, lark. dove, spring, lark, dove, lark, dove, bat, queen, spring. king. I mean, if it is nature, wind. I'm surprised I guessed that because I'm the stupidest person here. <laughs> All right. Boom. Well, let's oh, see. Let's, maybe well, let's if we say those two, maybe we can come up with a word that will. Um, yeah, let's try it. Help us the others. Why don't we roll We're for a, an inspiration quickly? Ooh. So if someone hasn't got a D6 inspiration, you can <gasps> roll for it. Thank you very much. Said Dwizzle513. I've been rolling the Dwizzle. crappiest. Crappiest. Uh, All same night. Hey, I did worse than you this time, Teresa. Is it me? <laughs> Is it me? <laughs> it looks like it's, it looks oh. like it's Maris. <laughs> Nicely done. All right. Thank you very much, Twizzle. Oh, I'm sorry. I, have, I'm really... I'll, Before... I'll, I'll, I can do it. I think I have a good chance of um of dodging it at least. Is there, is there any point doing like an insight roll on this, an insight check to see if there's anything at all to help us on the door? Um, you guys are on the the right track. Absolutely, like hundred percent. So, it is now up to your ingenuity as gamers. All right. Don't like that at all. So, I love that. Lead, lead with nature. Uh-oh. Lead with nature. Okay. Nature. Because dragon right. also comes under nature. Lead Led. with nature, and that's the first rose, thing. river, bat, spring, dove. Pike is a Mark. kind of fish. I was like, Pike is a fish. <laughs> Yum. And wind? wind? Wound. Wind. All right. Wound. Oh, wound. Okay. That's, that's the word. Okay. Nature's, that nature's wrath. Nature's a little fury. too metaphorical nah, for the door. When you did dragon before, what did it cross out? Um, got king, queen, prince. Did we um, get king, queen, prince? I thought we did. I thought we only we got, got king, king and prince. They, they didn't get queen. Queen, yeah. queen should have they been gone too. Queen. But oh, dragons, okay. dragons are egotistical like that. You know. Oh, okay. King, well, queen, his, his fury, dragons. wrath. It also got tapestry. And tapestry. All Wait, right. Would would castle? What about history? Never mind, never mind. So I think. Oh. No, dragon sounds good. Yeah, dragon, dragon. or. Dragon or kingdom? So, or... Na- so nature, dragon. <laughs> um, let's see. And probably both of those two. So there's needle and yarn left. Depends how technical the door is going to get. <laughs> <laughs> Well, a door did eat you, so I don't want to take any chances. I know. <laughs> oh my god, I died. Oh my god, I can eat my door. Blanket? Oh. Is that what you say? <laughs> Just say so- no, say like, sewing. Say sewing. Sewing. Harold? As okay. all the as the last eyes <sighs> close, the one in the middle, the eyes close. And you feel the door is at rest. As it does, it grinds open. Fucking hell. <laughs> well. What's that someone that about that? <laughs> yep, might as well go see what this was guarding i'm just so inside say, there's a 30 uh, foot long 30 foot wide 50 foot long 30 foot wide audience chamber there's someone in here and a <laughs> crumple there is a crumpled um just pile of rubble in the front weapons and shields that hung from the walls have fallen to the floor and succumbed to rust a large wooden throne carved to resemble a dragon with unfolding wings faces three tall windows to the west. Slumped in the throne is a gaunt, armored figure with one gauntlet wrapped around the hilt of a great sword. As you enter, the creature, you hear the armor shift just a bit. 
Go away. All right. <laughs> okay. Bye. Okay. <laughs> oh, Claire, I think you're up. Sorry, Jisvaldo, I accidentally deleted your token. Oh no, just yeah. all those dead. I, ha I have a new <laughs> token. It's in, um, token in Discord if you want to. He said go away. And you deleted Jisvaldo and then made like a mirror. No, yeah. just, <laughs> sorry, I'll do it. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. Drag your token back on. <laughs> and he was just eviscerated. Whoa, just, like, what is totally that? Gone. Oh, hey. Hey, handsome. Oh, wow. <laughs> like he's three times bigger than the rest of us. Oh my you God, didn't QT. pay attention to Zoom chat when I said I did it. Yeah, I didn't. Look at I that sorry. Ponzi hat. <laughs> Oh, the Amazing. hat. Mandatory. Ooh. Um, sorry, what did he say? I got distracted by all that. Said jazz. go away. Said go oh, okay. Go GTA. away. Are you a knight of the order? <sighs> he begins to straighten. As you all are clearly not going away, correct? No, no. I'm standing right. my ground, but in the doorway. And he uh, he says a few things at you. He says, uh, "If you have come to destroy me, know this: I perished defending this land from evil over four centuries ago." Because of my failure, I am forever doomed. If you destroy this body, my spirit will find a new corpse to inhabit, and I will hunt you down. You cannot free me from this damnation, nor would I wish it. If you have come to free this land from the creature that feasts on the blood of the innocent, know this. There is no monster I hate more than Strahd von Sarovich. He slew Arginvost, broke the life of the knight I loved, and destroyed the valiant order to which I devoted my life. But Strahd has already died once. He can't be allowed to die again. Instead, he must, must suffer eternally in a hell of his own creation, from which he can never escape. Whatever can be done to bring him misery and unrest, I will do. But I will destroy anyone who tries to end his torment. And the figure kind of slumps back again in the throne. It would seem that your passions align with our goals. I'm not here to destroy you, nor my friends. In fact, if anything, we're here to help. You're a fool, Crusader. Have you not heard what I have said? I heard you. Then you would be glad to know that we have likely caused Strahd the greatest pain he can experience. Mm. We took Tatiana from him. Mm. She's gone, and he can't ever have her again. Good. Good. Then, join me in ensuring he suffer here in perpetuity. What does that entail? Only this. 
and he kind of rests upon the throne. Unless... And he looked, and the armor creaks up again. You see he's clad in a beautiful set of half-plate armor. And he says, Do you intend to slay him? End his torment on this realm? And the grip tightens around the great sword. Can she lie? Does it not matter to you that Strahd's eternal suffering condemns everyone else in this realm to eternal suffering as well? Does that hold with Arjun Vost's priorities and values? Arjun Vost has perished along with my beloved. Strahd must suffer. Nothing else matters. Such is my command as Lord Commander. I ask again. Do you intend to end his suffering? I intend to turn every ounce of fury and vengeance that I hold in my heart against him. And I will destroy him. And the grip tightens and you see the great sword lift then from the ground. This cannot be allowed. And my friends, Dun 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 so Maris wants to build it. a snowman. <laughs> Will you, you want to build a snowman? a snowman? Will you help me hide a body? Oh my god, my favorite iteration of that. Amazing. Right? I feel a vampire. Yes. It doesn't have to be in one piece. Come on, let's go and slay. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Okay, so we're adding this to our musical episode. Oh, Someone absolutely. take notes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you uh, confirmed leak by Maris. Um, no, it's just kidding. What was so? What should, what should Jess Waldo sing? Looks. Uh, what is the the song? Um, uh, he should looks sing one dance ten. From, what is it? Uh... Oh God! <laughs> um, I shouldn't have uh, revealed these already. But as soon as an aggressive action is taken against, um, I didn't take an aggressive action. On guard. <laughs> um, he aggressed me. Mm. Oh, help, help. I'm aggressive. being aggressed. <laughs> Typical <laughs> ghost male. <laughs> Classic. Oh my god, I'm so glad we're having this conversation. <laughs> Beautiful. Yes. Interesting initiatives, my friends. Interesting. All right. Cyvor, you're the first up. He seems to have tightened his grip around his great sword, and uh, yeah. God, as soon as you guys right. go in, it just makes me useless. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> so I'm gonna. So I'm gonna. So as like so, uh, DM in this moment, he's like he's gripped the sword, and then the other ghosties like boop 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 appear. Yep. Or okay. it seems like um, you know, I hate to just you know as opposed to waxing eloquently about it. Um, the most, really, the most present moment I can think of is outside the ship outside of Minas Tirith, he grips his greatsword and brings it up and appearing out of, as if out of thin air, you see spectral warriors come 
to his right. side as if he has summoned the phalanx of the undead. Okay, cool. So, uh, sword was broken. Anyway, um, <laughs> this has been remade. Okay. Cool. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Cyborg okay. <laughs> is going to go ahead and yeah, hell with it. Uh, he's going to go ahead, come into the room, and fly up to let's see, he'll put himself about ten feet from main ghosty. Okay. Um, I'm airborne, uh, and I'm going to crack a whip in his face. Airborne, just like COVID. All right, <laughs> go ahead. Just call him the science. <laughs> yeah, that was a little. Topically aggressive. <laughs> nah, I live for topically hey, aggressive. Hey, I'm topically aggressive. <laughs> oh, name your sex tape. Okay. Oh, hey, no kink shame. Okay. Oh. Oh. We're not here to yuck is my anyone's kink. Kink. <laughs> <laughs> And we're at the weird places of Twitch again. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, 16 to hit with the first crack of the whip. Um, 16 will miss. That's what I was, that's what I thought. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and crack the whip again then. That's bad. How about a crit? Crit will, um, will hit Ooh. anything you wanted to hit. Crit Eevee. will crit. <laughs> All right, awesome sauce. So, uh, that is going to be okay. So, if I want to, well, so if I roll the damage twice, is that no, the deal? Click, click the whip, just click it, it'll click automatically it. do it. Oh, whip. thank you. Click that's fantastic. Whip. You're Why fantastic. No come along. You must click it. Thank you. <laughs> You're so welcome. Why are Peter, you? we need some good music here. What, what is this? What? what? I, oh, click the whip. There it go. Oh. <laughs> Just right, click so the whip. <laughs> so that's 11 uh, magical whip smack and damage. Huh? I hate this one. <laughs> Well, so I'm sorry. I'm trying my best. That's fine. We'll give it a shot. <laughs> you got this, Cyborg. <laughs> 11 points of damage, I'm seeing? Yeah, 11 points of magical whip cracky damage. All right. Oops. I should do this. All right, so we got whippy cracky damage. Anything else? Well, that's all I'm gonna whippy cracky do right now. <laughs> cool. All right, just well though. You're up. Just well though. We'll squeeze past uh... Claire. One, two, three, four. Uh... To there, he will attack this fellow with his rapier. Rapier. Come on, come on. There we go. Hitting AC 19. That's going to do it. 24 points of damage. Okay. And I will bonus action dash to go back out. Same amount of movement. Right. They sort of look around. Um, this particular warrior looks at you, Claire. I need you to make a uh, wisdom saving throw. That's super good. You are um, okay. As the rest of the uh, group will advance on you. You guys really rolled low initiative, didn't you? What? Yeah. Cyborg and I did really well. Well, you did. I was just saying, like, usually I'm used to going after about five of you, but, um, yeah. oh, I'm very sorry, too. It's now more important than ever that we have um, our dear friend, Esmeralda Davenir. Esmeralda, help me. <laughs> and can we also have Callum Vorces? Kazan. Yes. Kazan um, says, um, if someone would like to um, take that action earlier you're more than welcome to uh just Waldo, you wanted to say something before his uh yeah 
Kazad says, get over here. <laughs> oh, that was cool. Nailed it. Uh, that's handouts, and here we go. I got this. All right. Um, cool. I'll just Can I say, off. Kazan says, grapple the man on the chair. Sure. All right, let's find his initiative. The thing on the chair. All right. It looks like we're still coming up to this. First of all, um, indeed, I will add Esmeralda's second. Sorry, guys. Um, just uh... <laughs> cowards. <laughs> Strahd. Just Strahd. imagine Strahd. that, like, we're all sparkling like you do when you get the star on yeah. Mario Kart. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't think that exists here. No. Different universe. Okay. <laughs> Here it's just blood. You just shed blood. No, it's if fine. If my holy symbol can resemble something from Sailor Moon, I'm pretty sure the stars from Mario Kart exist. It doesn't. Re it's just a moon. The fact that Sailor Moon also has the moon <laughs> no, no. doesn't mean you resemble Sailor no, no. Moon. It is, it is you part resemble. Of the moon. You both no, no. have the moon. It is. It is this kind of negativity. Is Waldo yeah. that really is Waldo? Has Esmeralda out. made an attack against the revenant <laughs> that surged forward? Against Thanks, Claire? Thanks, Esmeralda. Thanks, Esmeralda. <laughs> dance, this La one. Esmeralda, dance. Um, oh, no. We're good. This Hell one fire! <laughs> <laughs> and um, attacks twice against Cyvor with his spectral longsword. We've got a 7 and a 21. The 21 is going to If that hits, um, that's going to be... It's a ten foot tall room, so he Oh it that's fair. uh stumps his toe with a sword for oh, seven points of force damage. That's the worst. Wait, uh, what was the uh, AC? Twenty one. Unless you can do something about that. No, God he just got me. Okay. Well played. Alright. So seven save. points of force. I don't think I can do it. Next save I guess. And um Chad has corrected me. The moon actually took its form from Sailor Moon, so I, I get it now. Oh I, I don't understand anything that's going on, but I'm gonna keep going forth and make a uh, Cyvor, you need to make a saving throw of the wisdom variety, please. Oh lovely. As this um uh knight looks forward to you with a vengeful glare. Oh great. More of these Those vengeful sucked. knights. 18. Ooh, that's what you did are, me in downstairs. You are okay. <gasps> I'm okay. Oh, you're okay. Um, You went right in, though, so we're going to have a couple more attacks against you. Um, I feel good about this attacking you. I've got double 23s and then 12 and 8. 23s are going to be 11 and then 6 force damage. Yeah. And then that's all the um, extra soldiers, after which the Lord Commander is going to step up and swing his very nice greatsword at you twice, because you're right there. Fly away, Cyborg. Well, I might be flying away here. And, uh, no. I have an 18 and <laughs> then a the natural one. Oil. Okay, uh, those are both misses. 18 misses you. Wow. Yeah, so my uh, so my uh, monkey abilities allow me to pump up my AC by two if I attacked the turn previous. So Very nice. Attack that turn. Very cool. So it's like... <laughs> Claire, you are up. Hmm. Well, there's conveniently a critter right next to me. Um, so... I will attempt to swing at him a couple times. Could you times. move one step in, maybe? Oh, yes, I could do that. I'll step up. By that, he means two steps in so he can get all that sneak attack. What? Nothing. Oh, okay. Oh, he's already got sneak attack on the other one. Oh, he's trying to get in. Never mind. Go ahead and do your stuff. Okay. 
I step I, forward. I'll shut up. I would highly recommend not stepping forward, but okay. I, good luck. What's done is done. Fine, I'll sidestep. That's good. <laughs> and try to smack him a couple times with the sun sword. Go for um, it. The best tool for the job. 25. That, well, yeah, that hits. Uh, 16 damage. Okay. He's still hanging out. And, uh, again. Uh, 14. Is going to miss. Okay. And clanks off of his shield. Clanks. <laughs> Fucking lightsaber. Um. <laughs> <laughs> he still manages to deflect it. No, I, I'm joking. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I, uh, I think I'm just gonna hang out. I can't remember anything else to do. Sorry. Okay. Um, I will shout to Civil and say, "Get out of the room now!" And I'll tell everyone else not to go in there. And I'm gonna hold a spell for when Civil gets out. If anyone goes in there, the spell goes off anyway. So I've warned everyone. So I'm okay. waiting for Cyber's go to get out of the room, and then I let a spell go. Maris, what was your initiative? Sorry, I, sorry, I've got seven. you, Limus, By the way, Maris I was didn't... a cute little seven. Oh, I do see you on there. Okay, I was, I thought I didn't have anyone. Okay, no, so just last. once you, the condition is, Cyber if you come either... out of the room, and then as soon as he's out of the room, I'm, I'm casting a spell. So if anyone goes okay. in there, the spell still goes off. Okay. So wait, that, so you are holding a spell until somebody goes in the room? No, until he gets out of the room. Yeah. And if anyone goes and he's in. And it's warned other people that this yeah. is going to happen, and it's okay. still going to happen if other so people go like, in. So to just, like, stay out of the room is what you're saying. Stay out of the room. It's not the problem. <laughs> it's the problem for me. <laughs> Got it. So oh, you don't need what's, to go your, what's your... I'm stretching a little bit to give like two triggers. So like, I'm just if he gets out, waiting. you release it. Or as soon as Saivo comes out, the end of his turn. Also, like, what's it's up, to, your, it's up because... to however he wants to do it. As long as he comes out of the room, oh, at any time of it. his turn, then he's out. If he doesn't come out of the room in his turn, even though I've warned him, then the spell will still go off. Okay, because I'm not losing a fourth level spell. All right, and uh, on this turn, um, bossy. <laughs> this guy has been ordered to be go in and try and grapple the big guy. That's true. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. If we lose the armor, Chael is going to be so sad. <laughs> You're going to be uh, mad. I'm mm -hmm. not telling her. I won't do mm -hmm. it. Patrick, he um, does what I'll do. He can, he can only get this far. <laughs> so he runs in. Um... Cyborg, you're flying in the air, so he goes. Yeah, he can go. You. Yeah, and actually can try to grapple him then from there. Um, <laughs> let's see. His strength check is a seven versus an eleven, which is not great, but for either of them, but he fails to grapple. Uh, Athelflaed, you're up. Okay. I will. Oh yeah, I could have just cast it because Cyber's got evasion. But if he fails, he could die. Well, well probably things not. Things aren't looking so great anyway, so I just want to pop that thing and uh, dodge for the best. Blow him up. We'll heal him. It'll be fine. I suppose the end of the um, trigger jade would be the end of Cyborg's turn. Yeah. Because yeah. I think one trigger is the way we should go, but saying, Cyborg, get out at, of there. At the I'm end of yeah. spell. At the end of his turn. And yeah. So that will be the. Okay, cool. All right, Alpha Vlad. Okay, so I moved up to the doorway. Yeah. Not in the room, at the doorway. Uh -huh. I'm going to cast Hunter's Mark on. Big bad angry man. He is angry, you're correct. Big bad 
angry man. Big bad. Why did I do? That's not what I'm. Okay, that's fine. Anyway, and then I'm gonna fire at this guy right in front of Claire twice. Watch out, Bridget. <laughs> Does a, does a 26 hit? <laughs> you, you, certainly. Does the 13? It does not. Yeah. 13, the arrow passes directly through this thing, and it seems to have dealt, um, you know, very significant damage, but it is still alive. That's it for me. All right, and we're on to Maris. Yes. So, can Maris see all members of her party within 30 feet? Not quite. If you moved one step to the yeah. south, you would be able to. Okay. So, that is what she will do. Where is Cyborg? I can't see him on the map. He's over here underneath, uh, above the animated armor. Above okay. the armor, which is under me. Yes. Sure. Yes. 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 Okay. So Maris will cast Bless on herself and the rest of her party. Yes. Okay. So you're upcasting Bless? Yes, I'm upcasting Bless. Okay. <clears throat> so I think it starts at three and then you need... I can, for every level past two or past one, I can add one. Person. Yeah, that's a big Bless. Cool. Yeah. Anything else for you, Maris? Um, no, that's it. Cyvor. Sorry, I'm re I'm reading up on my bless. Well, bless my soul. Well, bless Kirk, my Kirk soul. Kirk was on a roll. Yes, indeed. <laughs> uh, yes, Kirk was on a roll. <laughs> All right, so uh, yeah. Cyvor, upon hearing the actions of his friends behind him, is going to try to get the hell out and really hope that he doesn't get hit in the process. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to... Disengage. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Can I disengage from multiple people? Yes, the disengage action is um, quite useful. <laughs> oh, Yay! Well, bless stars. Well then. Bless uh, I'm a, So then, yeah. So then, I'm gonna like. I'm gonna <laughs> take myself out of the sky and like tuck and roll like back towards the door. Then. Okay. So using my disengage action, <laughs> uh, I can't move. I can't move me because there's a suit of armor on top of me. Um, I've been turned into a cow. There you go. So awesome. <laughs> My Thank God, you. but you're beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so oh, five, ten, you can you can eight, move back next to Claire. Five, ten. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, well then. But okay, so if I go here then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and then that's it, right? Because disengage is my action, and yep. there it is. Yeah. Let's let's get any bony. Yeah. No. All right. Good. End of. What's up? And that's me. End section, of your turn, Alimus's spell goes off. All right, what are you doing? Off. He speaks the words. Where is it? Mors Orbis Acidium. And then a new spell will go off. Right there. Very Beautiful. Nice. Good one. If Acidium means what I think it means. Yeah. Yes. Uh, DC 16. Is this the start of their turn? Nice instant. DC 16. All right. That's what happened to my giant slug bile. I was just about to say, I really enjoy that that's the specified um, material component. It's just a drop, too. Yeah. Not, not a whole lot. Alimus gets out a little, like, stopper bottle. Doop. <laughs> yeah. So 26 gotcha. if they foul, half if they don't. All right. So the um, our Phantom Warriors here will do a... Um, I've got a... Um, wow. I've got two saves. A fail. Uh, uh, two back. It will kill this one regardless. And then um, this one will save, so it will take 13. This one will take 26. <clears throat> the animated armor 
will fail. Um, let's see. Does he have anything? Oh, um, he looks pretty awful. Does anybody have mending? <laughs> Two revenants will be. So it's important uh, to know who actually failed. They will say one will fail and one will save. Fail up top here. Bottom will save. Okay. It's important you said to know who. I'll put it's a green a, marker on those yeah, who fail. Who fail, yeah. Oops. <clears throat> So he is covered in acid. Mm -hmm. He is covered in acid. Covered in acid. The one here is the one I attacked earlier, right? Yeah. Covered in acid. And then lastly, the leader Please will help. save. Ah. Can I use a, uh, a lucky point for you? It can only be for your own oh, rolls. Okay. Yeah. Cyborg, that is a... All right, that's the end of your turn. Esmeralda is going to attack... Well, actually, she's going to cast um, Invisibility on Jeswaldo. Excellent. Uh, she's going to do greater invisibility, in fact. Thank you. Jeswaldo. <clears throat> All right. I will sneaky sneaky in and I will attack this one here. With my rapier. Oh, uh, advantage, right? Mm hmm. Well, it didn't roll for some reason, so I'll just go again. I see the 13. Yeah, it only rolled once for some reason. I'm going to just yeah, roll a d20 just... again. So yep. that's a 10 plus my modifier, which is 9. That'll so do it. 19, and that first one is a 24 for okay. sneak. Um, Pretty and good. And then I will go over here. Gotcha. Their turn. What happens on their turn with that? Uh... At the end of their turn the end of their turn. End of their turn. On a foul save, acid damage at the end of its next turn. One at Sivor, one at Claire. All right. Two swords coming at you, Sivor. Got 12 and an 8. Two at you, Claire, for 11 and 16. I think I'll miss, right? I'll miss. I'll miss. Saddest kind of Christmas. Almost. This one's going to go attack Athelflaed with two sword attacks for 22 and 11. 11 misses. So <laughs> this is all miss. And 22 oh, is done. going to be <laughs> is going to be a um, uh, sorry uh, seven points of damage. Um, these guys are going to then move forward. Um, Closing in, um, Cyborg and Claire, I need you both to make wisdom saving throws. Cyborg, you do so at plus four. Plus, you've got bless, remember, guys? Yeah, nice. guys. Thanks to I the will utilize that bless. Thanks, Jade. All right, so that's. <laughs> uh, I have a 19 total. Okay. 17 plus my four is 21 plus. You guys so are that, both that would... okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Yay! You don't Yay. have to sound so upset about it, Peter. And then I don't sound so upset about it when I fail. <laughs> Come forward. Uh, well, you know, it was a, it wasn't. It's nothing personal, of course. All good. Dude. Um, sure. I can't see you. And two <laughs> great sword attacks against Claire. Yeah. Coming in at dual twenty ones. Ooh, yeah, both of those hit. For twelve points of damage, and then sixteen points of damage. <sighs> Okay. Doofda, doofda. So 26, 28. 
28 uh, total as he swings on those. Um, so what is the damage that things take at the end of your spell? Could you roll that again? They take nine points of acid damage. Ugh. Unfortunately, your animated armor crumbles to the ground. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Nobody tell it, can't I? I can kind of hear a tiny little. <laughs> yeah. The snake in my hood looks up and just moans and then retreats back into my hood. <laughs> yeah. Goodbye, friend. And it is going to be Claire's turn. Ah! Okay. Um. So all of these guys are still standing, even though they were correct. Ass- oh, acidified. sorry. Uh, let's let's continue acidifying. Um, uh, did you roll again, Alimus, for that? Um, I, it's nine to all the ones that failed. Nine again. Okay. I, I rolled a nine. So they, if yeah, whoever yeah, yeah. failed, yep. we're good. We'll take nine. Uh, and does that then does the effect end on them or does it continue? I was hoping it continued, but by the look of it, it ends. Okay. Yeah, it ends. We'll give the slug Stole a kiss. Stole it. Nice That's little a hell of a spell. Damage. What is that? Yeah. Is that? Vitriolic sphere. Vitriolic sphere. Yeah. Is that from. Is that just I think in that's the, from Xanathar. So normal, Xanathar. Nice normal one. It's BHP? Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm. All right, Claire, you're up. Need to see that one more. Oy vey. Um, oh, it's elemental evil. Yeah, elemental evil. That's why I haven't seen it. Okay. All right. Um, this one here was one of the ones that got acid damaged, correct? Um, I have multiple pings. Uh, yes, this one did. Okay. The Thank top you. one. Both of them are looking more spectral than physical so okay um all right i will um attack that one to start with i hope the bottom one yeah 16 16 is gonna do it lovely plus plus uh, oh right plus plus uh 16 damage Ooh. radiant if it matters yes you will cut through that one and it will be Sounds as dead. if the body is separated from the armor withering to nothing the pieces of armor will clank across the ground and the spirit will sort of uh, seem to fade into the ether okay i'll attack the one in front of me i will say huh? um on their turn it looked like both the um the stronger knights that are in back and the commander here healed a bit at the start of their turns. Ooh. I forgot to mention that, but they did. So, all right. Well, actually, Continue. in that case, then I will, after having dispatched the first one with my first swing, turn toward the commander and say, we really don't have to fight this out, but you attacked first and I need to defend myself. We don't have, we can be on the same fucking side here and I'm gonna poke him. Uh, 22. That will hit. Uh, 10 damage. He's undead. I know. Do you not get extra with Sunsword for undead? It is, if there's an extra, um, oh god, have I been under You've not been adding an extra D8. It's an extra, it's it's already rolled. You've been adding it, you just forgot this. No, no, I haven't, because like on my other one, I, on on my last two attacks, I haven't done it either. Um, there's a separate number for it that I forgot about. It's on the Um, right. Right. Yeah, so 18. Okay. Cool. You don't know how to use your magic sword? Okay. After everything we did? Um, granted, on your first turn, it wouldn't... Um, it would have brought the creature lower, but as I'm yeah, looking I, back, I don't it, think wouldn't, it, made it wouldn't have dispatched sense. it. So, yeah, Is okay. that it for you, uh, Um. I also... Um, I, I'll turn back to Maris. Um, what do you think about the idea that that guy that we saw in the window might be helpful? I have no idea. I'm just throwing it out there, and I'm, but maintaining my defensive stance in front oh, of I the rest of up. my people. <laughs> uh, she starts okay. babbling at you in combat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Alimus will point into the room and speak the words "Gratum inferno liberabis," and 
cast as a point uh okay yep oh i don't know I i'm sorry but i don't know yeah. he, uh, he's even there but i could met a game i can't it still hits you anyway you can just, either hit claire and cyborg or just waldo and you don't know i just don't Waldo's know just waldo's there so that's all right to be fair some saves he's Making a dodgy make boy saving he's got a berry <laughs> <laughs> very very. I've got a 22 and an 11 from my revenants. This so. is a deck save, right? Deck save, yeah. DC 16. Mm, I will use my D6 inspiration. You've got bless, oh, remember? Don't forget your bless. Oh, I will use my bless. Blessing. Hooray! I saved, which means I saw it coming and I stepped out of the way. Yes. Uh, amazing how that works. Um, so first one saves, second one fails. Minus twenty-four for the um, for those guys. Um, you destroy the smaller ones and big guy. Uh, it's gonna fail. Oh, they failed as well. Nice. Yeah. Anything else for you? Uh, no. Animated armor is dead. All right, Athelflaed. Um, let's see, I still have Hunter's Mark on him. So I don't I'm ever going... meta, Scott. Uh, I'm, like, I'm, like... I'm gonna shoot this, um, this guy, the one that I keep clicking over and over. I'm gonna shoot him twice. 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 Whoa! I mean, hooray! Does, does a 31 bam, 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 bam. <laughs> You ask demurely. Yes, it does. Both, both attacks. Bam. Okay. 22. Do it. Straw. Do it. Um, and what about your uh, hunter's mark? Yep. Because that also 3 is 6 for your hunter's, hunter's mark. Mark is on the boss, not on yep. that guy. Uh... My oh, bad. which one are you attacking? This dude over here. Oh. Hunter's mark is on, is on the good boss. A, good attacks, though. All right, 26 points of damage. Beautiful. I mean, Beautiful. if I can get away with adding more damage, as long as I can still keep my Hunter's mark over there. Uh, negative. <laughs> negative, negative. Uh... Is he still standing? That's a negative Come coach on. rider. <laughs> it is. He, the guys downstairs took a lot of hits, remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah, I got a 31. Hard. Anything else for you? Around Ethel now fun? is when those things that uh, Maris um, um, turned all sort all show back up. <laughs> is it a bonus action to transfer my Hunter's Mark, or is that an action? You would have to recast it if you wanted to move it, um, if the creature that you had it cast on did not die, if that okay. makes sense. Then that's uh, it. That's it. Um, but it would be a bonus action regardless. Maris, you're up. Uh, okay, so this particular moment in time has given me a lot of stress because I don't know like how I can help immediately outside of what I've already done. So I can see this baddie, right? Correct. Okay. How many can I see all the baddies from where I currently stand? Yes great so what i would like to do is cast my favorite beep boop bop oh my god i have to find it again where does it go um mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm, the one with the multiple flames scorching ray oh scorching that's ray. that's it oh my god thank you jade <laughs> yes so I would like to do that and cast it at a third level on each of these baddies. So like this. Four rays. So yeah. who are you attacking with them? I'm going to start with this guy. Okay. First one will hit with 22. Okay. Eight and then... Points. Doop. Make the next attack. Ooh. Natural one will automatically miss. <laughs> what? No way. Uh, and then 22. 22. We'll hit again with six. And then I'm gonna go back and try to hit the second guy again. 
Okay. Ah, 22. You, you love that number. All right. I do. That will hit. Great. Eight points of damage. Cool. And we're on to Cyborg. All right. Uh, I'm going to go. So those Scorching Rays hit everybody in the room and then came back to hit another one? or Just were they... this, these two. Just those two. Okay, cool. So I'm going to back up Claire here. And so that's, well, actually, I can attack him right there. So I'm going to go ahead and so, sort of like take the whip and start cracking like around or past Claire's head. Uh, then let's do it. I so, subtly move out of the way. Absolutely. <laughs> so he's not chop my nose off. First whip crack is a uh, twenty. Okay. That'll hit. Yeah. Definitely. Lovely. Sorry. Oh no, it's all right. Okay. It's like, yeah. Okay. Good DM communication. <laughs> it's like, no, okay. it's good. Yeah, it hits. It's like okay. It's like oh. got my eyes cool. so on that's, a different place. So that's six magics. Beautiful. Uh, and then I'm gonna hit again. Well, I'll roll again and another 20 that will also hit it so let's go ahead and do that damage seven uh magic okay and then uh i'm gonna go ahead and take my movement to get up to there so i can use my bonus action to do a couple of unarmed strikes so i'll use burn a key point do flurry of blows Oh, well, sorry. Nope, that that's wrong. I'll actually use the flurry of blows. There it is. Oh, look at you. 19, 19. for the flurry of blows. That, we'll do it. We'll do it. Fantastic. So first one is a seven to hit. And okay. Well, seven damage. Yeah. Sorry. sorry. Yep. It's magical damage. It is magical damage. Okay. Um, the 11. Uh, let me see here. I've got my bless but i doubt even with the bless but i'll give it to 15 possibly but well here i'll roll it and you can tell me if i if i fail how about that roll that d4 there it is all right so that's uh 15 is that your final answer that is my final answer it does not hit ah oh, well i tried uh but i am going to go ahead and burn a final key point to do a stunning strike on you okay so i will need he succeeds. Oh, you bastard. All right. Well, I'm all out of tricks, so. Oh, Mesmeralda is going to cast another cantrip. She's going to come in at a 17 versus the revenant in the back. Say it louder for all the revenants in the back. And, <laughs> and um, she's going to deal a nice 16 points of fire damage to him. Jezwalo. Can you indicate which one was struck by Esmeralda? Thank you. As Jezwaldo will step forward and hitty hitty with his repair. Come on. Give me the thing. Why are you not rolling the thing? Alright. I'm not getting the auto um crit thing, so I'm going to just roll again with another d20. Your shifty clicky not yeah, working? Yeah, shifty clicky not working, so I'm hitting AC 27. AC hits. So that is 25 points of piercing Ooh, damage. He is starting to look a little rough. And then I will run over here. Alright. Comes to this point, um... Hmm. Paralyzation not working so well. So we're just going to go and hit things. I keep um, forgetting to move into... Damn it. Oh, well. I feel flat I'm going to attack you twice. With a 21 and a 16? 16 does not. All right. Um, 12 points of slashing damage. Um, I don't like that you tried to stun me, so I'm going to attack Cyvor with a 28 and a 27 with my greatsword. Yeah, that'll hit. Dealing 18 damage on the first one and 19 on the second. And Cyvor is down. All right. We'll continue to cut through the swaths. 
of enemies. Um, Claire, I'm going to attack you twice. 19, a natural one on eight. Uh, the uh, 19 hits. All right. Uh, 12 points of slashing damage. Then it comes to your turn. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll smackety smack. Uh, let's start with this one back here. I think. Yeah, that one. That one? Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, let's let's try a yes. let's try a bit yes. of less here. Yes. That'll do it. Uh, fourteen damage. Cool. D Wizzle. I know. <laughs> Gifted us stuff. He he did. Oh, yes, he did. Yeah. Um, what? Hello, D Weasel. Thank uh, you very got, much for the uh, stuff. Uh, oh, gotta, hello, let's, finish up, let's finish up Claire's <laughs> turn here with sure. another attack, I think, and then yeah, we'll um, go ahead oh, and roll. This thing is still alive, yes? It is. Okay. I mean, um, relative. Well, I, yeah. Mm -hmm. Relative. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll throw my other attack at him. Cool. 18 again uh, for mm -hmm. 17 damage. And this one, as you cut through it, it dissipates. Maris, we got a little problem. It's nothing we can't solve together through the I power know. of friendship. Through the power <laughs> of friendship. Through the power of oh friendship. God. Oh my and, God. Like, and Sailor Moon. <laughs> the big bad gains 100 hit points. No! <laughs> the followers level just go... Tuk, 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 tuk. Oh. Are you kidding me? No, it's Stop. just... Friendship is so inspiring. How dare you? <laughs> friendship is freaking magic. <laughs> oh, my God. I learned that in Avatar, you guys. While we're in that, thank you very much to Wizzle. DM, do you want to roll for a, a, a healing potion? Yeah, 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 yeah. And h roll high. Yes, it's over 70 now, which is a great healing. Yeah. Is that greater? It's great-ish. I, um, I was just trolling, but... Yeah, no, no, that, that is not, because... <laughs> it's not. If it's, in, if it's in this game, then it is in my game, too, so no. <laughs> okay, it's no. a regular one. Uh, we'll not have it. I was trying and, uh, Sean uh, has feelings about all the potions that are getting tossed into his game. <laughs> have it. I'm going to make a new monster. It's like the rust monster, except it drinks potions. <laughs> but thank yeah, you very um, much, Wizzle. Uh, DM, who no. gets that potion? Um... <laughs> Um, 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 like, this isn't necessary. <laughs> Cyborg is down and unconscious, and he says, I will not let you end Strahd's suffering. Right. Don't you think he'll be suffering more when he's in the Nine Hells? Because that's where we're sending him. You know nothing. John you know Snow. nothing, just Waldo Snow? <laughs> you know nothing, dead Waldo. <laughs> you know nothing, You're right about that. Dead Waldo. <laughs> Elimus, you're up. Uh, Elimus will look. Do does the other revenant look damaged at all? It does. It does, does it? Um, he will look to him uh, first, and we'll start with Samon Torex Fax Ignis, and cast Scorching Ray. I'm gonna make a wizard that uses this except instead of this it's just like garbalak bikishburk blah blah blah, blah. <laughs> just, create, just do swedish things uh, like wizard use your fire <laughs> you know, if someone someone does like a wizard and then does like the swedish chef i'm there for it your teller in teddy food a bowl up with the burger <laughs> 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 
Eberkirk Magic Mission. I'm going to take oh, a l- lucky. Yeah. I'm going to do a lucky point on that because I've remembered I've got lucky. And uh, three hits. That was a good use of that. Yeah, it's three hits. Okay. Roll me some damage. Ah, 16 fire damage. Right. Damage, oh, yeah. as the French would say. You notice damage. that as your oh, um, damages, as your damage and fiery damage hit, they seem to not be regenerating hit points at the start of their turn. So, mm. I believe we're on to Ethelflaed, if unless you want to move it, Limus. Known as Grand Damage. Mm. Oh, good. Grand Damage. <laughs> um. <laughs> Ethelflaed. It's your turn. It is Oh. <laughs> nye, 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 nye. I would like to stab this asshole right now. C'est in front toi. You're talking oh. about the DM or the enemy. Go ahead and do it either way. All shoot right. your bow. <laughs> I was like, I, they are too close for me to shoot bow. I would be at disadvantage. All right. Yeah, but shoot the disadvantage. Shoot the yeah, disadvantage. Yeah, disadvantage and bless. Disadvantage. Go ahead. Up to you. Uh, I will Just shoot them in the butt. <laughs> As the French would say. Yes. Shoot oh, we're doing disadvantage. Butt. Okay, okay. Fine. Plus bless. Plus a minimum the one of closest to you? You said bless. It okay. is the both going to hit. Do I, Maybe. I don't even need to do bless. No. Do I, Seventeen. Yeah. Well, bless would be a minimum of eighteen, so. Mm-hmm. Which we know hits. That dude. That dude right there in front of yes. me. That's like some legless shoot him in the face action. I- exactly. The first one is actually just, just stabs damage. it and then shoots. 18. It's like... Good. Yeah. Maris, you're up. Exactly. I love that move so much. I do too. Okay. Sir. Let's see. Beep boop pop. So we've got our two cuties still left. Slide so. Down. Cyborg's down. That is right. Cyborg is down. So I would like to cast Cure Wounds on Cyborg. Am I able to see him? You you would need but to, I'd have be to be able to touch him. Correct. Yes, yes, yes. Can you move through clear space? Yeah. Can I move to him? You could. Okay. Yep. You can so... move up to here, but you will provoke two attacks of opportunity by oh, doing so. Shit. Okay. So instead of that, what if? I cast Healing Word, which That'll is like work as well. not as helpful. I'm sorry, Cyborg, but safer for me and I've no, already, uh, I died. No, no, Healing Word. Brings healing me back. Word is, this is what Healing Word is for. Yeah. Safety okay. first. Dope, 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 dope. We just don't want him to have to roll any dope dope, 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 dope. Cyborg has 10 health points. And you're looking amazing. And you still have an action, should you wish to cast a cantrip, Maris? I would really enjoy casting a cantrip, actually. Wow, so great. She can (laughs) trip. I can trip in my brain. (laughs) Um, So I would like to cast my personal favorite of... Sailor Moon Sword? Oh, never mind. Yeah, no. Mm, well, Sailor that's not a cantrip. <laughs> Which dead are you tolling? I'm a toll the dead <laughs> closest to me. Okay. That cutie little dead. You know they, Bay. Um, <laughs> I can't. He Day. got a twenty. He got dead. a twenty-two. No. I'm sorry. She like a bay she or is it like a a bay she? Am I right? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! And he takes no right. damage. No wait 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 no uh, no 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 no. <laughs> no, yeah. but he saved with a twenty two. Oh, uh, that's not something I like to hear. So I, know. I reject it. <laughs> we, we don't have a divination is. wizard. We this can't change This roles. isn't an election. We have to move on. All right. No 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 no. Oh. I reject it. <laughs> All right. Cyborg, you're up. Oh my god. And okay, and speaking of which, I stand up. So, uh, regain consciousness. I'm like, what happened? I blacked out. Um, there's a then, huge, huge just hit the bitch. Yeah. Oh, huh. that's not so bad. Oh, um, and so the remnant is still up. So, let's go ahead and hit it. Uh, so I'm going to take my 
Munta Short Sword attack the Revenant for a 16. Is that going to hit or do I have uh, to roll? That, uh, yes, 16 will hit. All right, I'll, I'll bless it. Don't make me. All right. Um, cool. That hits. So that is nice. Uh, eight points of magic slashy damage. Okay. Uh, whip comes in at a 19 to hit. Okay. So let's go ahead. Actually, I'm just going to make my life easier. More damage there. there we go. That's seven magic damage. Uh, Revenant is looking owie still or <laughs> like how we... This Revenant was not as damaged by the oh. other things. All right then. All right then. So then uh, go ahead and do an unarmed strike as a bonus, bonus action. 21 to hit. Oh, uh, yeah. Roll it. Lovely. That's five bludgeoning. And then I'm going to burn a key point and make you take a stunning strike. Okay. He succeeds on his saving throw. Oh, man. All right. Fine. Oh, and that's me. Okay. Esmeralda wants to save her points. Unfortunately, her um, firebolt will miss, and we're on to just Waldo. Waldo will go forward to here, and he will attack with a rapier. As he does, he will say, Arjun Vost himself has come to Claire and ordered her to restore his beacon. Don't you think that's something you should help her with? I mean, that's kind of your thing. Ah, uh, wow. Well, there is a crit. That's a lot of damage, friend. <laughs> 19, 39, um, I'm seeing 19 Sean, plus 37. I was attacking the Revenant. Okay. 56, is that 56. what I'm seeing? That looks good to me. My eyes go cross-eyed when I see that many. He just goes, Ugh! He kind of turns towards the general area that you are in. We go to war! And that's his response. All right. You get a sense that whether or not it's actually him or a memory simply of him. the spirit that is animating him, he cannot be reasoned with. And... But as you probably um, were able to tell, um, his intention was to keep Strahd suffering in his form in this realm in perpetuity. So, and we can't have that. Yeah. But what we can do is attack Paladin again, twice, to 25 and a 20. Yeah. For a combined 21 points of damage. Uh, that's... Oh, I'm still up. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. Thanks, Saloon. Am I right? All right. Yeah, thanks, and Saloon. Mr. Vladimir is going to uh, attack you twice. Uh, Cyvor once with his great sword at a 26. Let's see how this does. 16 points of damage. Does that bring you down again? Here. He'll cut through towards Claire with a 23 for 24 points of slashing damage. That's me down too. And you will, with two swipes, you see two of your allies fall and he will um, give a die. great cry out to battle. And he grips his great sword even tighter and starts to charge towards the back line. Claire, I need a death saving throw. Uh, just for uh, funsies here, I think I'm gonna use my D20. <laughs> Your inspiration. Yeah. I Go ahead and do it. Wanna, uh, you also I, also have a D4 for bless. That's Although true. Although I've seen all of these things fail. Yeah. So it's just two D20s, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so the the uh, 
the blessing. You're get good. Me over you automatically nine. succeed <laughs> with the nine. With a bless. <laughs> Elimus. Spicy. Uh, <laughs> Elimus Spicy. will see the terror happening in front of him and look to the man himself with the great sword and <laughs> hope for the best and speak uh, pulsive fugivit ad infernum and I need a sayonara charisma save for you please DM he has a 27 oh really Really? I'm sorry. A charming bastard. Charming bastard, yeah. And then look to Claire. I look to Claire and speak the words Anna Amisi May. And cast healing word. Um which is you cannot cast action, two it? leveled spells on the same oh, turn. It's, it's healing word, not a bonus action. It is a bonus action, but it's level. um oh, it's it, any yeah, you can't cast you a do a bonus um, action and a cantrip. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's not a cantrip, is it? Yeah. Okay. Um, I can't do anything else. I'm afraid. All right. Sorry, my friend. It is Athelflaed up now. Two of your friends lie bleeding on the ground. Uh, healing spirit. Ooh. Yes. That's a good one. <laughs> what does it look like? It can be some sort of beast, some sort of fae, something like that. I'm just curious. Like what does little, your healing spirit look like? It's gonna be like a little red panda. <laughs> That's the uh, cutest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> who do you who do you cast it on? So, so the four foot cube. So it's a little transparent red panda. On quite quiet, Teresa. It's a little red panda. Transparent on panda on Claire. It's a little red panda. And. A little bit. I see as this cute little spectral red panda sort of appears on top of Claire and then kind of nuzzles itself under her head, under her neck, and curls itself around her neck and sort of nuzzles her. And uh, <gasps> you see her eyes pop open. What is it? I cast banishment on it. <laughs> uh, how many pit points? On do I her turn, on? though, right? I think it's on. Uh, I think it's healing on a turn spirit or starts is... its turn there. Um, I thought healing spirit was instant. I thought that's, um, whenever you or a creature moves into the spirits or starts its turn there. Yep. You're correct. It's going to oh, be Claire, one. That'll be on the top of your turn. Yeah. Okay. So we'll roll that coming up. So, so anything else from Athel flood? Yes, it. because that oh. you can also that's a bonus action. You yeah. can attack. This is into that's the spirit it's... space for the first time on a turn or starts his turn there. Um. So oh, she oh, hasn't so moved confusing. into it. It's yeah. it's a weird wording, but that's a that area yeah. type yeah. of spell thing. So the abusing way of this is if a life cleric casts it, you can just move back and forth in and out of it back oh, okay. and. So does, but does they that, nerfed it. But anyway. So because it's a five foot cube area, does that also hit Cyborg? No. Uh, no, we're gonna put that um, on. I'm sorry. Um, correct. Just unclear. Okay. No, that's yeah. No, no apologies. No, okay. it's that's good RP. That checks out off the plan. Yeah, it's excellent. All right, then. I'm Red Panda. Going... Red Panda, and apparently his name is Commander <laughs> Peepers. Oh, That's what chat what? wants, and I, I love like it. it. I like That's it. It's a reference Commander that I Peepers. get, and no one else. I don't understand. Me um, neither. I just so feel weirded means... out. Yeah. <laughs> so that Peepers, means that Peepers, I've... guys, come on. All right, let's go. So I, uh... so I had to drop Hunter's Mark. So this is just going to be 
um, two regular longbow attacks. On the big guy? Yeah. So All right. Going? He takes both hits. Yes. Yes. 22. Okay. He's going all Baramir on this. Takes two bolts to his chest. Seems to diminish him somewhat, but he has fighting spirit remaining. Oh, that makes me an Urukai. I don't like that. Mm, I know. Yeah. It's like that makes me sympathize with him, which I'm not here for. Yeah, don't, don't, don't invoke lick, the Lick your dagger, and then it's uh, someone else's turn. How very ah. dare you, DM. How very dare you. <laughs> you are very into your dagger, Ethelflaed. I have two, and they're I was beautiful. I was about to... Like, I thought you were going, like, you're very into your dagger licking DM. And I was like, no, <laughs> no. Negative there. Negative. <laughs> I thought Moving on. I thought Go to your room. Liz, Liz, I need a hard reset, and then it's your turn. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> now you can do cure wounds. What are you doing, Liz? <laughs> Maris. <laughs> what are you doing, Maris? Um, I would like to cast healing word on our other friend who is currently down and out is Jesse, correct? No? Yes. yes. No, I'm you good. You <laughs> shook your head, say... Oh, it's Cyborg. It's... No, it's because... Maris. What? It's me? Mar oh, uh, Claire. Claire and Cyborg. Because I heard two, and then yeah. Claire and Cyborg. Claire and Cyborg. Got Claire and Cyborg. Yeah. Or, Claire and Claire. Cyborg. <laughs> Cyborg. So, Cyborg. Cyborg. I would Cyborg like to has... heal... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would like to thank you. I would like to heal Cyborg with Healing Word. Okay. And. Noise! Yeah, so 12 points of healing. Beautiful. And then I would like to once again toll the dead. On the Revenant or on the Vladimir here? Let's hit up the revenant let's let's hit him up um let's hit him up <laughs> i'm sorry they seem pretty resistant to your um it's wisdom saves are pretty strong he's got a 20. oh uh, so that's awkward um so can i just switch <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> let's see what happens 22 <laughs> right they're both no. wisdom saves gosh darn it didn't she just roll 2d12s no Okay. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but okay. they she saves. There, he saves. Wait, can I use my um, inspiration to roll again? <laughs> nope. Because it's my roll. <laughs> oh, it's the Revenant roll. Uh, okay, fair continuing enough. Continuing to enough. Um, DPS is Esmeralda, this time hitting uh, with a uh, another ooh, a terrible eight points damage against oh. the closer Revenant, and it's going to be just Waldo's turn. Uh, so I, I regained my 12 hit points, which brought me back to conscious, yep. which should put me in at 22, which is where I was. Did I skip you? I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. I, I think I actually got, yeah. Go ahead. Good. Yeah. No worries. So I stand back up. Uh, and <laughs> uh, what happened? <laughs> all right. And then back up to swinging on the, uh, the Revenant is the one who's looking the worst for the wear. Yeah. Oh, God. Sorry. Before I it's forget, a little, it was a while ago. Similar. I was waiting till the beginning of the round, but Dwizzle donated another thousand bits. Oh my, oh my god! So thank you Way very back, much, yeah. Dwizzle. Ah. Another healing potion. I was um, waiting and he's waiting. He's taken a lot of beating. Cyborg, go ahead and take this healing potion. Don't thank feel you. too bad. Thank I mean, you very don't, much. Don't Dwizzle. be mad at Jade. He's like three in the morning where he is. Yeah, half three. Yeah. Thank it's you. All right. So, <laughs> uh, first attack with the. Short sword is going to be a yeah! critical. God, I love to see that. So that is <sighs> oh, eight points of critical damage. All right. Oh, it's just so disheartening sometimes. All right, uh, and then I'm gonna swing again with the sword. Drink a potion, maybe. Uh, it's a it's an action to drink a potion, oh. so it's like, and it's either stand here and. Take no damage. Uh, the, oh God, I don't think that's actually going to hit on the revenant. But let me. Do You're still blessed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, fourteen to hit on the revenant. You're attacking the revenant, and not the big guy. I'm attacking the revenant, not the yeah. big guy. Okay. Uh, fourteen's going to hit. 
fourteen is going to hit. Fantastic. Well done. And the damage on that is right there. Right. Ooh! Wow. Y yay! Uh, and then again, I will make an unarmed strike. Twenty-two. Wow. All right. Twenty-two to hit. Yep. Lovely. Certainly. I'll I'll do it. And six. Okay. So sword, sword, punch, and like still kind of like stumbling a little bit on my feet. And it I is just, still alive. Yeah. yeah. And I am barely holding on, but I'm, there I am. Just Waldo. Um, Peepers looks at the remnant and says, mm, I don't like it. I cast the spell. And while she's distracting it, just Waldo stabs it. What? Exactly. I don't get it. <laughs> That's not what paper sounds like. Sure. No way. With another wait. critical. That. Wait a minute. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. You screwed up your thing. You have force criticals on. I did. Yes, I will take it off. Uh, or we could just. What is, what is the? So it's an eighteen. It's too confusing. Okay. Eighteen is fine, but roll roll a random attack again, and we'll reroll the damage. Okay. Let me uh, take that force crit off. And I'll roll the tack again. So, a total of 25 piercing damage. This guy looks awful. He's still up? Are you freaking awesome. kidding me? He is. Oh, okay, let me... Like... <laughs> all right. That's all right. No problem. I'm done. I am sorry. And he, after that, was going to turn around and try to swing at you. Twice. Disadvantage. Indeed. He has a 13 and a 10. Both of those miss. They would have missed even if I wasn't invisible. Nah. Vladimir will look around. Um, we've got a good bleeding target. That is good. This other guy got up. Not so good. He'll make his two great sword attacks. Um, You'll have a 13 and a 27. 27 is going to be for 19 points of slashing damage. And Cyborg's down again. Um, oh, was that on Cyborg? Just Waldo, I am sorry. I um, clicked on Vladimir's health pool for the other one. Um, the other one had... Um, uh, he had 22 points of health left. So, um, I did kill him. You did kill him, in fact. That is my mistake as I go between them. Um, the other one may be soon to come. How do you um, deliver the last blow on the second to last foe? From well, behind as here, I said, from uh, Peepers was, um, was distracting it with a funny voice, channeling something from another game. And Jezwaldo simply grabs onto the shoulder and just sticks the sword right through. Um, and I, I don't know if it looks strange because Jezwaldo is invisible. Yeah. So I guess it doesn't look like anything. It just looks as a- It probably a, doesn't. And the Revenant sort of shakes for a second and like spasms as if something metal is going through its spinal column and then dies. It does. And it kind of shrivels up and you see most of the armor and the weapon collapses. For a second, a pauldron and Akiris hangs there in the air for a second, and then, as if letting go, it clinks to the floor, indicating Wait, we're there curious something in there else again. Going. By the way, good job, Claire. You're up. <laughs> Actually, I, that's... so I believe at the start of my turn, I regain some hit points. You do. Roll a d6, Athelflaed. Yes. And that spell is. It's saving us. Oh. It's a TPK saver for sure when especially at its peak uh you like, when you don't roll one roll. hit point is enough and you shoot to life i surge to my feet <laughs> yeah. she green oh the, the alliance she <laughs> jumps to her feet covered in green soda and caffeine and what do you do thank you all right now i'm angry y'all remember um, surge right oh. <laughs> Oh, uh, let's see, let's see. Oh, God. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I 
rise to my feet, bathed in my own blood, and hot. <laughs> Spit at Vladimir's feet, <laughs> and bonus action, I will vow of enemy him. Bring I'm fucking that done. Ta- I'm, I'm fucking done talking. You show that, that enmity, um, girl. Bring that crit. So let's see. I I get to do some like advantage shit on these rolls. Um, I wow. I'm getting really tired here. Yeah, advantage on the uh, all of my attacks against this guy. So sun sword, here I come. Uh, 25. Super hits. Um, I will... I roll that damage and I'm gonna burn a second level spell slot. And smite him. Okay. For an additional, uh, amount of damage (laughs) that I'm trying to double check. 48, I think. 48, thank you. Oh, yeah. Uh, Paladinize him. Uh, wow, 21. that was good. Um, yeah, so, uh, 41 yeah, 41 damage, 41 damage uh, right. coming in hot. Coming How's in hot. Looking? And you drive that sword straight across his chest and, well, you know, I will let you describe Vladimir Horngard, the Lord Commander, former Lord Commander of the Order of the Silver Dragon. Falls before before you. In what one way? responsible for that 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 door puzzle? Yeah, I am um, coming up with my swing. I drive it straight through his neck, and hold on to his body, and just look him in the eye and say, "I am so sorry," and then lop his head off. All right, the skull clings across to the ground, and before you. you see just an empty skeleton inside a beautiful set of half plate armor and lying by his side is an exquisite great sword and I, I say before Elena does shotgun on the armor Elimus is going to wear the half plate I don't need I wear heavy armor half plate is medium oh is it uh... yeah it's fine. I was only joking because obviously Elimus doesn't wear armor. I think there's someone who might like half plate. Just yeah. throwing that out. Mm. That's okay. Does her name rhyme with chairs? If you say it, really it. You try yeah. really hard. <laughs> oh my god, your face every time. <laughs> He's like, oh, <laughs> it hurts him. Yikes. All right. That's where we will end tonight as <laughs> Vladimir Horngard Horngold falls. Um, Vladimir Horngold, okay. Though you hear oh my God, Korngold. <laughs> shifting and steps continuing in the rest of this place and it you, you feel um, yeah, there's perhaps a bit left to discover. However, the insignia, everything surrounding him, you are certain that this was the Lord Commander of the Order. Of knights that res, uh, resided here for some That's time. That's really depressing. Just a mm. point of curiosity before we close. Um, like the other revenants, did his body sort of crumple at all? Did, like, was there any release of spirit? It did. Okay. You feel that you may have defeated this form, but the vengeful spirit of, of Vladimir Horngard, along with the rest of the Knights of the Silver Dragon, are not yet at rest. Yeah. So, am I also still unconscious? Is that? No. Oh, for the rest of the game, we finished. someone good buried. I, I, I literally. Uh, I was just like, <laughs> that's where we leave the game. Right when we're done, wait, we got you. Uh, we just finish. come back with one hit point. It's fine. We finish yeah. you off. Literally, I will shove a berry down your Shame. throat. <laughs> and then he chokes on it and dies. That's fine. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Good job, guys. Berry. Those uh, those oh, those un- particular undead are are tough. So yeah. we'll Dude. come to the rest of this. Um, sort of describe the rest of the room, the potential, you know, the etc. of it all when we pick up next time.